Uh, hi, Voss Channel. How are you guys doing? Uh, so how, the way this is going to work, we're going to be playing four different games. Starting off with this one on the screen right here. It's Lair of Torment. Then we're playing a game called Teleform, which is a found footage style game. Then we're playing the game that so many people have asked me to play, which is called Don't Scream. It's like a game where if you scream, the game restarts or something. Now, I don't know how that's going to work, by the way because i will be trying i will be talking during the playthrough of that game so if c talking counts as screaming then uh i don't know what the fuck we're supposed to do because that's not gonna work we'll see otherwise it's gonna be a very very quiet asmr stream we're gonna be talking so quiet i don't know how it's gonna work anyway we'll see and then after that we're playing a game called manny's which i have to play because the character in that game literally looks exactly like me even though it's like a pixel game, but he is literally me and it's apparently very funny. So we're going to check it out. But anyway, uh, starting off with Lair of Torment here. Welcome all from YouTube. Appreciate you joining us of people from Twitch as well. Obviously appreciate you all. I think we're just good to go. If I remember I did notifications. I did everything. So we're just going to go <clears throat> say hi and have a fun time. Here we go. Yeah, uh, do we even I should check the settings first. Um, I've got this game recommended to me so many times, even though it's like a 40 minute game. Actually, uh, you get your hi YouTubes in now. Uh, I'm going to have to move chat. Uh, we're going to go say hi YouTube very shortly because I don't know what the game is about yet. So I might have to replace this one. Here we go. Hi YouTube. How are you doing? And welcome to Lair of Torment. This is a very short horror game by the same creators who also made Welcome to Kowloon minus N4BA. However, Welcome to Kowloon was an amazing game. So I'm just excited to see another game by the same creators. It's going to be fun. I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty, here we go, baby. Uh, so this is the first one. This should only be 40 minutes or something. I don't know. What, what's this plan doing on the screen, by the way? What's this plan? I'll actually put chat over there. We'll probably move if we have to. New game. Uh, move WSD, shift to sprint, click to interact. I can do that. I have played a game before. The scary plant. Spooky plant. Hi there. Uh, we're crawling. We're a cockroach. What's going on here? Or I might be falling, actually. So I have no idea the theme of this game, but I know there's going to be some kind of clown involved. Because I saw him on the Steam store. Uh, there's notches on the door. An ancient artifact, a life-shattering statue. She took over my father's mind. He went crazy and started killing. I have to get into the basement and break it down to save someone I care about. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my. If you're listening to this on subwoofers, I'm sorry. You've just vibrated off your chair. That was a loud ass bass. Oh, here we go. And we're just straight into the game. Okay, so we're looking for some kind of artifact. Uh, I'm also going to check a few things. See if this is working over here. Your chair is vibrating. <laughs> Check, uh, I forgot to check this. Always got to make sure that that's working. That is indeed working. Let's go. And then my sensitivity is completely fucked. That is still very low. Your screen started to walk away from you. <clears throat> oh boy. Came at the right time. All right, what are we doing in here? We're in a tiny room. We got... Bloody arms or just normal, I think. Um, What is this? What the heck is going on here? Is this a toilet? Is this a washing machine? To is this a trash can? I see. I've never seen a place like this. That's a lot of power outlets. What the hell? Um. What? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm putting it. Why Where are these coming from? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Where am I getting these from? Hello? I got infinite cables. I don't know. I don't think I'm supposed to do it this way, but I'm just clicking. Uh, I have... What is even this? Okay, well, we're going to have to solve a puzzle there, I assume. Can I open this door? I'm clicking to try and open the door. I have found a key by accident by looking in the jacket. Okay, and now we've opened the door. I see it. Hey, Nikki, thank you for the donation. Thank you. Oh, I tried to open the door. That is... I see. Okay, wait a minute. So we have... They're playing hangman. They lose one. They lose arm. Uh, is this supposed to help me 
figure out oh i see i see i see i see wait do i see so we go from that we combine them aha it's like it's match we need to match them so oh can i disconnect these please there we go <laughs> this is ridiculous okay this one goes here then i think this one goes here right can i please can i see it again okay so that one then that one all right all right i get i get the puzzle uh so we have one two th okay can we write this down one goes to three uh two goes to five three goes to one wait am i right about this and then four goes to four and five goes to two. All right, write that all down, please. And now I'm just gonna read off of chat. Thank you. One goes to three. Two goes to five. Really? Uh, three goes to one. And five, wait. Four goes to four, yes. And then five goes to the remaining. Dude, look at the teamwork over here. I don't even have to think. There we go, we've done it. I assume we've done it. Set up the electrical wiring achievement unlocked. So I'm assuming that's happy. And there's the trash can, is it? I'm climbing inside a box. It's a mine cart. What the fuck is going on? Um, am I gonna be moving? Blair Diggory, thank you for the $10 donation. Thank you. I am moving my mine cart. This is a weird environment. I'm playing Minecraft right now. Okay, someone is closing that. <laughs> That's some very weird wires. Hello? What the fuck? Is this a real thing or is this just... That's a lot of car crutches or is this just some weird video game stuff? What is, what is going on? We got Bryson, Liam, Lucas, Oliver, Lillian, Audrey, Naomi, Abigail, Leonardo does not exist, and James looks like an absolute monster. Hello? Oh, come on. No. <laughs> what the hell? Why is there a body hanging here, by the way? It's just normal. All right. Okay. So how is this going to go? Do we go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P? Do we do that? Oh, it's it fucking connect the dots again. It's freaking A, A, L, L. Wait, maybe not. Maybe I'm stupid. What What is the sound? My heart is beating. Okay. What are we supposed to do here? We got one, two, three, four, f what? Why can't I not back out of that? Wait a minute, the door. Hi. Um. Dude, this game has got some serious bass going on. I don't know why the door just opened and then closed in my face. I'm assuming I'm just supposed to solve this puzzle here. What is the puzzle? Let's see, we got Bryson. Is there some kind of numbers involved in this? Or do it, is it based on, um. You're so freaking scared. Lillian. We have no O's. We can't. Lucas is crossed off. Hello? I was just staring at the puzzle. I don't know what's going on, but it's red now. Red, you know what red means. Red means scary. Do we go backwards? Do we just, what happens if I just click a random combination? I'm clicking all the random buttons. Wait, three. Wait, one, two actually allows me to click that. Six, one, two, six, excuse me. I'm brute forcing it. One, two, six, seven. One, two, six, eight. Okay, why is it one, two, six? Let's find that out. Why is it one, two, six? It's Bryson, Liam, Audrey. I have seriously no clue why that is, but I think we can figure it out this way. <laughs> what the fuck? One, two, six. Okay, wait, wait, wait. One, two, six, three. Nope. One, two, six. Or maybe it's a four digit. Is it just a four digit number? Oh, it's just a four digit number. Never mind then. Okay, we're not going to be able to solve it that way. How do you back off from the thing without fucking pressing escape? That is so weird. Um, I don't get this puzzle. Am I stupid? I don't get this puzzle. We got Oliver looking like a dapper fellow. We got Lillian. You look fucking horrifying. Do we have to do the... Oh, what if it's the odd one out? Wait a minute. So uh, Naomi looks like a skull. Leonardo is fucking missing. James is a skull looking boy. Uh, is there anyone else looking evil? Audrey, maybe? Abigail? So it's going to be... Uh, seven? 
uh, eight and nine or wait there's a name on the wall I'm so confused do we go back I'm not seeing names this is just random text oh Lucas is crossed off on the wall I see okay is there wait Lucas exists right Lucas is a guy okay is that oh Lucas is the fucking body hanging here okay wait a minute so Lucas is one of the sussy bakas we got Naomi is looking like a skeleton. We have James looking like a skeleton and Leonardo is just not even there. So I'm assuming we'll click this one, this one, this one, and this one. Let's see if that works. So uh, first need to reset. So three, seven, nine, and 10. Nope, that is not how it works. I thought that was actually gonna totally work. I'm gonna make my way back to just see if there's anything that I missed maybe. Oh, <laughs> All right, Lucas Bryson, I see. I was not ready to have to backtrack. We got Lucas Bryson. We got Naomi. This was, and Oliver, okay. Or maybe it's, the, maybe we need to rule all of them out before. And then the remaining is the one that we have to click or what? Let's see, why, how many coat hangers now? I think those are just gonna be the names. All right, well, we did it. We're insane with it. Only took us like 10 minutes. Lucas, Bryson, Naomi, Oliver. Oh, Jesus Christ. What was that? <laughs> I wasn't even looking, dude. Is there something on the screen? This is a loud noise. What the fuck? All right, anyway, um, it's time for Bryson, Lucas, Oliver, and Naomi. So boom, 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 boom. All right, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. He's insane with it. Investigation. Find out the first victims. Achievement. These are the first victims. What is this background, huh, man? Do I have a flashlight? Can I please see? Oh, there's light over there. This is giving me like Welcome to Kowloon vibes, where it's just you're just walking around, and the environment doesn't make much sense. March, May, August, November. March, May, August, November. Do we have to convert that into numbers or do we walk backwards? Uh, red, red, and I see shadow. Hello. I don't see anything. The door's open. Okay. Three, five, eight, eleven. I don't, maybe we need that um blue minus green or blue green what am i doing closing the door red plus yellow okay blue minus green red plus yellow <laughs> this, this is a freaking you need a phd to solve this game uh, i'm seeing lots of light switches do we just go through here i can just go through here okay then uh, hello. I thought my game crashed there for a moment, but we're okay. Blue plus brown. Oh, no. We need to remember all of this. Blue pr plus brown. Cannot open this door. Hi. I am walking through. Okay, here we go. New red zone. Just a tiny little guy. Tiny little Chad. We got red minus blue. U equals death. I don't like that. Oh boy, it's red minus red, purple plus green. Is this mean anything at all, or am I just, what the fuck? Oh, huh? Okay, now we have to solve a puzzle here. Oh no, we, did you write everything down? How is this gonna work? Purple plus green. Okay, we can. That's totally doable. Okay, here we go. Purple plus, or is it? Wait, did I? Should it should probably be like this, right? Purple plus green, like that. Purple plus green, red, m why red minus red though? Let's see, did we have other pluses? What was the other pluses? Oh, Jesus Christ, hello. We have red minus blue, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I don't like whatever that was. That was a creepy guy. We have blue plus brown, okay? The pluses are important. Is something gonna be back here? Blue plus brown, red plus yellow. I cannot walk that way. Okay, blue plus brown, red plus yellow, and then I'll be making my way back here to see if I can figure anything out. Uh, 
U equals death. That's the scariest one. Blue plus brown. Here we go. Blue plus brown. Red plus yellow. Okay. Then... How do we do the rest? Oh, no! I press right click. Wait, purple plus... Uh, fuck. Blue plus brown. I messed it up. Red plus yellow. And the other ones are going to be like colors or... Uh... And then purple plus green. Okay, don't you dare fuck it up. Okay, and then the, how do we do the remaining one? Red minus red, is that black? Because you subtract all the colors? Is that how that works? So red is black? No, but red is already yellow. <laughs> what the fuck? Red minus red is probably nothing. This is too complicated for a low, low brain like me. Red minus blue. Red minus wait, but red is already filled in. There's they said nothing about brown, dude. This is fucked up. <laughs> I think minus means it isn't that color. But then how do we know the rest? How do we know yellow and green and brown? Because those do not, those are not anywhere. I am lost in the sauce. Process of elimination. Do the opposite. But the problem with something like red, red is that we already have this, right? Red, well, we also have red minus blue. Red without any red is white. Isn't it red without any red is, is black? Because that removes all the color. Red can't go in blue. This is so fucking confusing, dude. So it's not... It's a, it's a, we're not doing like one by, we're not equating these one by one. We're doing like a overall summation of all the colors. Why does the absence of color? Okay. Yeah. Is it not? Is white is, why does the absence of color, but like we have no white. So what is the point? We have a white, we have no white. We have black or is this not black? Is this blue? What is this? This looks like black. Isn't white all colors? I'm fucking losing my mind. I'm in like a turbo gaslit by chat. <laughs> like I said it like several times and people just keep saying the opposite. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm stupid. <laughs> White is all colors. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Black is all colors. Maybe fucking life is just complicated. Blue plus brown. We already did that one. Blue minus green. So wait, huh? I, I don't like this puzzle. Blue plus brown. Do I have to fucking have color, th color theory here and I have to mix all these fucking colors to get the right color? What is going on? Red plus yellow. Wait, what is blue minus green even fucking mean? <laughs> like, what does that even mean? Is they're both like, aren't they like, uh, whatever? Isn't blue, green, and red aren't those? No, that's not true. Green is yellow plus blue, right? How is is blue minus green minus yellow? Is it negative yellow? Like, are we fucking going full abstract color math over here? Like, what's going on? <laughs> this is so stupid. Negative. That's the only answer I can see. It's got to be negative yellow. Negative yellow. Red plus yellow equals orange, right? So that's... But we don't even have fucking orange. Blue plus brown. Brown doesn't even fucking exist. Like, brown isn't even a color. You should look that up. You cannot make brown light. Brown light does not exist. Ah! You equals death? <laughs> It's true, dude. What the fuck is going on? We're trying to solve this stupid math equation of all the colors, but it doesn't make any fucking sense, man. Um, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I'm just gonna fucking guess, man. Let's see. He's insane. He's done it. Um... Is that my shadow? Okay, that is my shadow. I thought that was someone else's shadow. Okay, this is not how we're supposed to do it. But like even, so let's say we know red minus red is black, right? Because it's like no color. What does that even do for us? Like, do we then throw the black on top of the red? Or do we, what do, what does that do? Like that doesn't do anything. 
There's a lever at the start of the room. You just threw your chair. I think red my minus red. Try putting the red into yellow. Wait, huh? Okay, let's reset. What the fuck? So we have purple plus green. Do we then do purple plus green, but we do it both ways. We also do green plus purple. And then we have red plus yellow. So we do red plus yellow and also red goes in yellow. And then... <laughs> what the fuck? And then we had blue plus brown and brown plus blue that's the fucking answer to the puzzle <laughs> what the fuck with the mi red minus red and the fucking negative yellow what's with negative yellow dude what the fuck is going on all right anyway <laughs> i don't know what the fuck is happening but we did it <laughs> so stupid okay open the door i can't open the door do i go all the way back am i gonna get jump scared along the way uh, please don't. I hear all kinds of weird noises. I was overthinking it. It's like you on a multiple choice test. I was overthinking it. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to go all the way back. I could not open the... Can I open this door? I could not open that door, right? Well, this one? Aha! This door randomly in the middle, I see. Oh no, it's more puzzles. We have Oliver scratched out. Oh, then we're in the room in the middle where Oliver was scratched out. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> what is this, dude? This fucking game, man. <laughs> this is stupid. Holy. Okay. February 12th, January 11th. What? August 4th. Am I just going? There's a body in the door. Hello, body. Where's the way? Where do I fill in this puzzle? January 5th. Oh, no. They have to turn all of them around. No text. 11. Oh, it's going to be the... What was it again? March, August, whatever the fuck. What, what was that? There was, it was on the door before here. We have to go back to see it. Uh, I, Wait, it's the wrong... I'm going the wrong way. I think we're going... We have to go back so we get jump scared. Because you know there's going to be a fucking jump scare. Uh, I am freaking lost in the sauce i don't know this it is march may august november okay march may august november and now i assume we get those maybe uh i'm not seeing any of them and for ba <laughs> 13 oh there's these wait huh i'm not seeing these March, they don't exist. They're not here. They're missing. Unless they're here. Oh, no, March. Okay. Seven. Uh, and there's November. One. Um, uh, okay. March. Where's May? May. There's no May. Um, is it outside somewhere? Do I have to go into this room? Can I please go into this room, sir? I'm, I'm missing the numbers. Do I have to go all the way back? February 32. What the fuck? That does not exist. On the ceiling? Wait, I can see my own hair. Is it outside? If I shut the door, it'll work. Oh, it's behind the door. Of course. Okay. Wait, March? We... What? It's... it's uh, I'm seeing this one here. May 10. But then there's still one missing. Oh no, March is right there. March, May, so 7, 10. Um, March, May, 7, 10. August was on there as well? Wait, March, May, August, November, right? So 7, 10, 4, 1, 1, 7, 10, 4, 1. What do we do with that? 7, 10, 4, 1. We have done it. We've gotten the notes. Where do we fill in this code? Uh, whoops, I'll tab. I'm going back. I don't know what that means for me. Do, do I do something with the light switches now? This light switches, maybe? Wait, what was it? It was seven, seven, 
Seven, ten, four, one. He is cracked. Okay, and that opens this. Okay, 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 okay. Dude, this is. I this is this is a heavy brain game. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? I love how much red. Can I go out? I can't go out. There's a UV light over there. Oh no, we're gonna have to do some UV bullshit. Oh, what the fuck? Jeez. You can stop making the noise now. I get it. I get it. Oh, we're going down. Wait, this is how we started the game. We're gonna get the artifact. We're looking for fingers, guys. Hey, trader. What's up? This is a very long stairway. I hope I don't have to go back up. Look at me running. I'm freaking sprinting down the stairs. Why is my chin moving like that? You saw that chin? It shit just like popping in the frame. Room 401, is that a Silent Hill reference? Um, it's like a cursed baby. Haunted baby. Do I pick up the haunted baby, baby or no? Do I just leave it there? I'm gonna, f I'm gonna do the valve. Oh, I need to do many valves now. Now open the door. There's more valves. That's a plant from the menu screen. <laughs> Hi there, plant. Okay, it's not open yet. We need to find more. It's slowly opening. I wish they would give me a damn flashlight in this game. There's a lever. It's the red lever. It's the spooky lever. It makes everything spooky. It's the red equals scary lever. Excuse me. You know what that means? We're about to get jump scared. Wait, what? What's the point of this lever? It just makes stuff red, that's all. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Wait, did it open this door? I don't remember this being like this. Uh, why can't I go this way? This is not blocked. I can just see it. Is there supposed to be a wall there? Because it's blocking me. I've not been this way, right? This is what the fuck is happening. My character is going insane. No mode. Am I being chased? No, it was just spooky hallway noise. Of course. There's the valve, I see. Is there another valve here or something else of interest? Nope. All right, we're going back through the spooky hallway. I totally missed it. Wait, there was a guy behind me. I did not see it. Do I? Oh, I did see that one. <laughs> Hi there, sir. Are you the one that's been jump scaring me this whole time? Can I now go over here? I still can't go over here. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to go this way to click it on there, but I mean, I guess not then. Are you back here? You walk this way. Nope. Maybe I have to click off the lever. Is that what's going on? Now I can go this way? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why the lever being red blocks me from going this way, but I've done it. Your door opening. Actually got comfy random couch in the middle of nowhere. Okay, now we go back through the or now we can go through the door. Is this open? Or do I need to do another lever? Looks pretty open. I was expecting four. Oh, it was moving the closet here, I see. Get ready for the mo the biggest jump scare of your life, dude. Uh we have a sledgehammer. We go break the thing. Our mission is almost complete. And I'm gonna unleash the curse upon everyone. It's gonna make things 10 times worse. Lee Lou Sassy Pants. Thank you for the five gift subs. <laughs> what a name. Uh, why are you looking at me now? You were looking at that direction before. I'm gonna bash. It freaking disintegrated absolutely destroyed that was a clean ass break dude i didn't even swing the hammer or anything all right well I guess my job here is done we're going further down this is not how the stairs was before uh it's gandalf uh don't make me stab myself bloody bloody knife hello what are you guys doing 
You guys just staring at me like that? Am I going back out of here or am I like finding someone to stab? I'm gonna leave. I'll leave you guys to it. Oh! Uh, what? Did I just stab myself? What happened? What the fuck? How did that happen? Wait, I'm the clown guy? <laughs> Wait, I was jump scaring myself? It's so deep. What's happening? Is that me? I'm assuming it's me. I put on- nobody cared until I put on the mask. Excuse me? What? <laughs> Wait, okay. Can we- can we fucking decipher what happened here? Because I don't know. Okay, so there's a crazy- <laughs> There's a crazy artifact that creates a curse or something. And I break the artifact, but then I don't- And during the- during the- t uh, the quest to get the artifact, there's a guy with a mask chasing us. But that guy is actually me from the future or something. And then I break the artifact and then I kill myself. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. Alrighty, well anyway, that was the first game. I don't know what the fuck was going on there. Very weird game, to say the least. I feel like, I don't know, the puzzles were just slightly too above my pay grade as a gamer. For me to have a, a normal... That was a fucking... That's a nightmare right there. That felt like a fever dream. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? This VHS tape is Community TV's exclusive property. In case you are not part of our crew of editors, deliver it to the station immediately. Oh, I'm actually excited for this game. I wanted to start off with a little, um, little wacky game. And now we're getting into the meat and potatoes of the stream. Starting with thick music. Why is my, why do I look so white today like specific like more white than usual uh we're gonna change the youtube title real quick uh hello forum is the title of the game it is a found footage game dude this fucking <laughs> i can't wait to play that game uh where is it i have it right here okay cool hello forum this is actually kind of vibing. I'm extra white today. It's an extra, extra, extra bleach day. Language, English, please. Thank you very much. All right, we'll go say hi, YouTube. This looks kind of like a VHS uh, horror style experience. Can I turn down the volume slightly for the intro? I don't think, Jesus Christ, you can calm down, you know? Take me to dinner first. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Hi YouTube, how are you doing? And welcome to Teleforum. This is a found footage style horror game that should be around an hour long. I know there's multiple endings and then this, in this video, we're gonna try and get all of the good endings. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. If you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. But let's not waste any more time. Let's hop into the game. Let's go. Alrighty, let me turn back on the volume. Um, hopefully this one will be better than the last one. I mean, I already knew the last one was gonna be a stinky game based on the reviews, but I just wanted to check it out regardless. I should maybe just turn it down <laughs> more in general. Fucking ridiculous. All right, here we go. <clears throat> oh, so it's VHS style? What's going on here? I mean, Juliana. Okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? Uh, I'm doing choices, of course. Uh, let me remove the lens cover. Yeah, please do that so I can see. Cameraman, that's me. Uh, right, it's best to have as much material as possible. We want to. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? I'm pressing the sixth floor. What if I click wrong? What if I click on the fifth floor button instead? Is there an option for this? No, man, we're going to the sixth floor. Walter lived on the sixth floor. Let's hurry up and get to the sixth floor before anyone else has the same idea. What are you doing? We need to go to the sixth floor. Dude, wake up. Okay, sure. I'll fucking press the sixth floor. What if I press the alarm? Please press six, man. Why don't you fucking do it? <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> God damn it. What is it? You look like you have something to say. Uh, don't you think it's wrong to bother a widow? Uh, I was just thinking about what happened. Did you get author authorization for this um i was just thinking about what happened 
What happened? It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? He told me how it happened. What he used to, you know. You're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. You heard it, right? He gave Celso a VHS tape. A VT operator? Right. Celso was supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. Then BAM! It happened. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, we're here. Come on. I love how many different ways they had to say, fuck you, press the red... Press the six bu button, by the way. Uh, okay, we're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Go to the light side, head towards the trash bags. Let's stay in the light first. We'll see how that... I don't think it's this way. Okay, how, how about you literally do anything at all, you piece of... I'm sorry. Um, I think we can get a nice take by the window. Let's take it and let's get a nice take by the window. Hmm, you're right. You have a good eye as me. I'm, I'm smart. Someone's been coming here for a smoke. See the ashtray? Don't show me that. I haven't touched nicotine in three years. Come on, let's head down to the corridor. Or down the corridor. We're getting lore. This is like literally real life right here. Uh, I think it's that apartment just ahead. Yeah, it's a 608. I think you I think you got it. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her getting the door and all that. Are we just fucking bothering some random person and like filming them? That feels a bit weird. I'm gonna move to the side a little bit more. Give me one second. by being slow. Imagine. Uh, what? I'm breaking everything! Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Am I fine? The best. Thank you for the. Will I try GHG again? I've been wanting to play more Ghost Hunters 4. Yes, uh, I think they did a new update recently. You can film her getting the door and all that. So should I knock on the door, ring the bell? What? What'll look better on video? Okay, I have to decide. We ring the bell, which I'm assuming is this light switch right here, or we knock on the door. Let's knock. Let's ring the bell. Ding dong. I wonder if she's up. If she's up to talking to strangers right now. I hope the camera doesn't act up during the interview. Let's do this. If she isn't, she will be now. You seem a little I'm knocking. Let me try again. Knock, knock. Police. They can't say that. I'm gonna get shot. Is she even home? Say, did you work with Walter for long? What? A, who's Walter? Some four years. Um, this hit me hard too, you know? I want to do something for him and take advantage of the situation in the process. You, Julia doesn't seem very nice, or is that just the vibe I'm getting? Sure, he'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense for opportunity. I'm gonna knock on this random person's door over here. 
Can I look? We can't look through the people. Third time's a charm. What do you want? Adriana. Hi, Mrs. Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. Do you really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage, a kind of retrospective, you see. He worked at the station for so long that we wanted to talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine, come in. It might be good to talk about it. Okay. Uh, quick thinker, huh? Are you lying? Wait, sh what the frick, Juliana? You lying to this grandma? <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, homage? Question mark? Why not? We can edit it later. Right now, we need the raw material. Dude, what the fuck? Come on, before she changes her mind. She's lying to some random grand grandma who just lost. Uh, this is terrifying. Thank you again for welcoming us, Mrs. Martins. Mm. Silva here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I'll have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Tea or coffee, chat? Very important. I'm 100% a, a coffee person myself. But I do like to dabble in some tea every now and then. Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. The nice part about tea is that you can drink it at any time because it doesn't have caffeine unless you get those crazy tea people drink. She pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that. Let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get anything that catches your eye on camera. We're surrounded by material here. Yeah, so you, is there a fucking dead person laying on the ground or what's going on here? Oh, it's a dog. Okay. Hi, doggy. Can we get a little pet? Pet the doggy? Good one. We need a nice shot, shot of gunpowder. Walter even carried the dog's picture in his wallet. He's called gunpowder. He showed it around as if it were a photo of his son. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. So look around the whole room here, okay? WASD keys to explore. Okay, let's see. Can I look at these certificates? Journalism degree from UFRGS. Specialization in communication. Walter was well educated. I think Mrs. Martins is just the same. What a waste. What a waste. The plant. The plant is begging for water. Guess it's been neglected in the last few days considering all that happened. I remember Walter bought his rain this raincoat to cover a story. Some lake where it rains a lot or something. Right, the image got stuck in my head because he was he just vanished inside the thing. I remember he got cheated out of some 500 cruzeros for an oversized coat. Cruzeros? He looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the damn coat, he just had to wear it. Poor guy. Okay, what was on the other side? Hey, you can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can now. I'm trying! I want to check, what is this television? That TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up. Actually, I'm pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. Um, I got a chicken. Is it gonna rain today? Hardly. The rooster says otherwise. Look, uh, these roosters never get it right. Hmm, I guess we can use this to, use this take to set the mood. It's a chicken. Oh, VCR player. Fancy. How much is one of these going for now? Some 2 million cruiseros? Is that a real currency, by the way? More than that, I think. Walter took a loan to pay for this. He told me this one time he gave me a ride. Uh, am I going through the door? Ding dong. The light switch does not work. Can we go through the... I, I, see, I see books down here. There are lots of books in this house. Anything interesting? Hmm. There's a book that doesn't quite fit in here. Let me see. It's an electronics manual. It's bookmarked on a page about the cathode ray tube, the CRT. The pages are loose. Coffee's almost done. We're going. We've done everything. We've explored. Why can we never see your face? You look kind of creepy. Will you have one? Yes, thanks. Am I going to get poisoned? I'm going to take the coffee. Be my guest. So, uh, did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Never take the coffee. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. In three, two, one. We're here with Mrs. Adriana. Mar uh, Adriana Martins, wife of Walter Mar Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. 
He agreed to give us an interview during these most trying of times. The house itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Why is she... Oh, she's actually looking at us, but she's like in the shadow every time. Uh, the sickly plant, the gun... Let's, uh, let's start... Start little, uh, little easy with the dog. What's been getting you through these difficult times? How did we know that was going to be the answer? Gunpowder here helped me more than anything else. The dog. Of course, he's been quite sad. He knows something amiss. He misses Walter. Something's amiss. He misses Walter. At least taking care of him has taken my mind off things. Television seems strange. Let's do that first. Walter dedicated a good portion of his professional life to the TV. I couldn't help but notice your television there. I... Yes, we had a blackout that day. There was a, a, a horrible lightning strike nearby right after the broadcast. Almost gave me a heart attack. The TV has been, hasn't been working properly since then. I didn't really see anything wrong with the TV, but okay. I leave it on so the house feel, feels less empty. Uh, Walter's raincoat, certificates, and degree, degrees. You two are quite well educa educated, aren't you? You can say so. Studied quite a bit. History, theater, theater. I met Walter at an eloquence workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad diction? Nobody knows this. noticed it today or notices it today. I think because he's dead. His articulated speech, that was my gift. Uh, let's talk about the expensive VCR. I noticed you have a brand new VCR. I'm just curious. I know Walter was quite the cinephile. What did he enjoy the most? Dot, 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 ma'am? And you ask about something else. Hmm, uh, sure, you're the boss. Look, I'm sorry, I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins, we have enough material already. We literally haven't done anything. We fucking took a photo or took some shots of this random person's house, asked about a dog, and that's it? He was so different, so nervous. I expected, I never expected him to... No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The, the gun? The one used during the show's broadcast? Did not use a gun. I know it was horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That was what Ferraria told you back at the station, right? No, I was told he used a knife. I was told he took poison. That's the least uh, demonetizable thing on YouTube, I, I assume. What? How can that be? My God, I knew it. I knew it ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? It's also examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned, something like that. That wasn't the tape. The, the ta that wasn't the, the tape? Not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes, here. I don't think what he saw in this thing. I don't know what he saw in this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home, or in the small hours in the morning. Am Rattler sipping? <laughs> thank you for the 10 gift subs, thank you. You want to watch it, don't you? For your show. I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I. Uh, I'm going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear this thing. Okay, we're gonna get absolutely haunted here. What's this tape gonna be? This is it. We have quite a story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Yeah, I just gotta see what the hell's going on here. Okay, we have to see it. I knew I made the right decision in bringing you with me. Okay, this is how we'll do it. You film as I watch the thing. Well... Have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. Uh, I have, uh, oh no, I'm gonna be haunted. You're lacking common sense achievement? Right, let's make some room here. Oh no. All right, let's begin. Let's get my first impression on film. We can fix it all in editing later. Me, every time I accidentally suck at a puzzle game and take 20 minutes to solve a simple puzzle. There, I'll press play. It's starting. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. Can we see it? I want to see it too, these symbols. I, I can almost. Do they mean anything to you? Looking at them makes my head hurt. Gives me deja vu. I feel like I can almost understand them. 
but at the same time I can't. It feels like they get entangled inside your brain. Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Looks like a... Pr I can barely see it! Looks like a shopping mall. Looks like a prison. Looks like a prison. Prison. Inside the cells. Am I influ influencing her answers? Are those... Are those people? He just walked by... He's, he's just walking by everything. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look. There's someone up ahead. Um, that guy, he looks, he looks. What? I could not understand you, but you're doing spooky sounds. Did you get that? I'll turn up the volume. It's free real estate. <laughs> Charge, take my hand. We'll take a walk. Get to zero inside the lost ark. I'll buy you the sky. Sounds like it mentioned some... We're just assuming control. Oscar? Someone named Oscar? I don't... I can't hear anything about an Oscar. I can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. No, we're gonna go deaf! Ah! Gonna jump scare. Hey, you okay? That's it, I'm turning this thing off. I had it, I'm out of here. Hey, you okay? The thunderstruck? Uh-oh. Assuming direct control, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Mass Effect 2 over here. Community TV will be right back after this message. Excuse me. Did we get lightning struck? Have we died? 8 p.m., 10 p.m. Zero reporter? What's going on here? Was that ending one? What did we do? <laughs> what happened? Is she a sleeper agent now? Oh, no. <laughs> what? He's hang oh, here we go. Okay, we're in the right build. Wait, what? She looks uh, a little different now. Oh, no. Uh, I think she's going to be killing... You know what? <laughs> is the camera on? Let me remove the lens cover. Okay, hurry up. She de It's definitely not the same Juliana. That's for sure. Is that the same elevator? Let me press... Let me get the button. 64 apartment 608. This Julia at least fucking presses her own button. Looks like you've seen a ghost. I just had some deja vu. Right. Okay. It's two ends. I think that's how it was always spelled, at least. I think so. She's fucking possessed. Wait, it's one... It was one end before? Previously, it was... Okay, interesting. It's Juliana alternate dimension version. Let's get those 608 already. Let's go back to the window. First, I want to see. Dot, dot, dot. Continue towards the window. What are you doing? Sure looks nice out there. How about you stop wasting our time? Can you do that? Huh? I thought we could just shoot some footage of the window here for the v for the video. Ah, okay. Well, you shot it, right? Come on, let's go. She's rude. She's even more rude than she was before. Didn't know it was possible. Here's the apartment. Finally, I'm knocking. I'll do the talking. No wonder. Is she gonna still be alive? Yes. Adriana. Wait. Did she only? Did she have two ends before? Did we swap the N? Did she take the N from Adriana? <laughs> What's going on? We're from Channel Eight. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I. We want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events, everything's stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. It might be good to speak to someone. I don't know if I should do a different voice, because it's a different person. Uh, hey, aren't you coming on a little too strong? There's something off here. Are you asking? Let's just do this. Yes, there is. She looks like, uh... 
she has a bad time here. That's what we'll find out. Come on, get in. She doesn't... Doesn't seem like the same happy person. I mean, she wasn't very happy before. It lies just beyond the edge of your consciousness. Tough luck. We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Tea, coffee? No, thanks. Well, I'll go make something anyway. <laughs> okay. Doggy! No, let's just... God damn it! We'll have to wait for her. I'll... I'll have a look around here. Yeah, whatever. Hello? The doggy. The doggy is staring at us like he's scared. Hey, gunpowder. He seems a little nervous. Uneasy. Or is he afraid? Look at all these certificates. Walter wasn't a complete dumbass, unlike some people back at the studio. Jesus, right. But I don't recognize any of these institutions. Hey, doobie, doobie Rudo. So many books. Hmm. Uh, there's one missing. One missing now. What kind of plant is this? No idea, man. It, it's well taken care of. I think Mrs. Martins didn't let the tragedy affect her routine. Maybe it's what's keeping her in functional right now. Interesting. There's a weird thing hanging above the front door. Look. Go there and take it off. Oh, what? What is that? You heard me. You can reach up there if you jump, right? So take it down. It's getting on my nerves. Okay, fine. There you go. You didn't lose any fingers, did you? It's not a horseshoe. You should keep that. What do I do with this now? I don't care as long as it's away from me. I'm pretty sure there was a pair of boots here when we came in. Wait, did someone take them? There. We didn't watch the TV, though. Oh, we're back here. Let's get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but it wasn't the original one, was it? The original is here with you. How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Is she, is her icon like glitching out or what? Well, yes, I have it here. Do you know where he found this tape? Is this why you came here? Had I known, I wouldn't have opened the door. Here, take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll have, I'll go have a smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. But you won't, will you? Let her be, but you won't, will you? Do you want to shoot a video of the tape? Hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? Uh, are we gonna, let's, let's confront her. I don't have time for this, but fine. You're right. This whole thing is making me antsy. You know what? Why don't you go check up on her? Even better, interview her. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she, see if she is up to answering some questions about the ori origin of this tape. Okay, it's the ring tape. I mean, kind of. Uh, I can't click. Ah, there she is. Deep breaths. What is the smell? It's not the cigarettes. No, focus. If I do a good job, I might get new opportunities. I can help Mrs. Martins feel a little better. I'll probably change nothing, but I still want to do it. Let's be nice. It's what I want to believe, at least. Mrs. Martins? What is it? Uh, we come closer. Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. What, no one is filming it? Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. For your program? Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Yes, but she's busy with the tape. It's an opportunity for me. Actually, I got worried about you, ma'am. I've seen many people like that girl in this line of work because of Walter. People st who stop at nothing. Ugh. Fine, let's do this interview of yours. You better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head is about to burst. How are you doing? How was, how are you doing? Terrible. I haven't slept since, you know. Maybe I should have seen it coming. The atmosphere at home changed ever since that tape showed up. You would watch it many times a day. Locked up in the room, he'd say he'd almost get it, but never showed me anything. He never showed it to me. Do you know where the tape came from? No. You need to investigate this. I think he got it at home, but I didn't see who delivered it. Walter collected movies, hard to find film, recording. Recordings. I thought it was just another one. 
Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching that thing makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? To tell the truth, so am I. Because it's an important piece of this case. Yes, I could see the greed in your colleague's eyes when she asked for the tape. To be honest, I thought you'd ask questions about Walter. It was your co-worker, no? That was the plan, was it? Really? Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I could have sw sworn I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't th I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my task. So you choose to admit yourself, right? No. I shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault. Not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape. From this whole thing. It really didn't cause anything positive, positive until now. That's precisely why we need to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that's motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? And if it is something else, then wouldn't it be right? Am the Rattler, thank you for another five gift subs. Thank you. I want to know. It is. That's the reason. It's necessary. I want to know. At least you're being honest. Look, I've got a splitting headache. Go check if she's done, then leave, please. I want my living room back. Thank you for the interview, Mrs. Martins. The story must go on, right? Upheld your professionalism. Uh, I'm- Something is telling me this is gonna go bad. What are we about to see in here? The thunder again? No, it's an endless fucking- Are you kidding me? Don't send me back. No! <laughs> okay, well, here we go again. <laughs> Caught something at the end of act two. Do you understand? Did I? Was there something there? It's gonna be Juliana with three ends now. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Groundhog Day. Uh, what is... Wait, excuse me? I was like looking at the side. I need to reach the apartment. The apartment? Uh, uh oh. Which apartment? Six oh eight. Yes, that was it. The apartment number stays in your mind. I had someone else with me. Ju. Ju. Juliana, with do we do one N or two Ns? Well, are you guys a hundred percent sure that it started with one N? Like a hundred percent sure? Because we should do the one N then. Yes. Okay, we'll do one N. How could I forget her? Your colleague's name stays in your mind. Each step makes it harder to remember. The tape. What I saw in it. I watched an unrec unrecorded nightmare. Was seeing and forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. So the past of I saw the past of a future that never happened. Dude, that sounds fucking deep as hell. In which future do I exist now? From which past did I come? The apartments. She stayed there. Reach the question mark question mark floor, excuse me. Be better to record everything. Everything can be used. I need to go on. It's is this the right way? I don't know. I need to pay attention. Um oh, there's another way. We need to go to the trash, right? This sound. Do I really want to follow it? No, I need the thing. Yes, I need to go on. Follow the sound. What's the worst that could happen? What is this door? Is this where she was? The door won't budge. There's a grate. I don't want. I want to see what's in there. Hi. Uh oh. <laughs> the woman. 
Vinyl floor is what the hell? Do I know her? Juliana, why am I tearing up like this? It's no use. Nothing else I can do here. Is there? Weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? Getting friggin' super haunted. There's doggy! Keep going! Hi, doggy. Gunpowder. What happened here? Why is the dog here? Where's your owner? Where is he now? Loyal boy? What the dog doing? Hey, gunpowder, where's your owner? Am I imagining things? Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh no, not now. Come on! Camera malfunctioning? Gunpowder? Come back here! What's gotten into him? He just dashed down the hall. Uh, it looks like he was lying on top of some note. Inspect the note. We have to see. It's a note. I've had it. And did what I shouldn't. I now live the past of a future that never happened. I move through strange events. Ephemeral facts. Truth and lies no more than an idiot's dream. If anyone reads this, don't leave gunpowder alone. She... She also, oh, oh fuck, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog, where did he go to? We, we fucked up. Gunpowder? I'm going inside. I'm going, I need to. Am I going inside? Really? Really? I will. Uh, I just noticed it now, and it's awful. Say it out loud. The camera carries me, not the other way around. I can't even tell when this started. Perhaps a long time ago. Maybe when I submitted my application. Gunpowder, I'm going in. Am I? Oh, he's going. Don't close the door behind you. Maybe it doesn't open. Reach the question mark apartment. The TV is broken. What? Can I look at the book? Is the book still here? The book is not here. Can I turn around? Look at anything? Is that still there? I have the... I'm just turning in circles. Oh, we didn't see this before. Well, this is where she was sitting, right? I guess I'm just going. Uh, what? I went, but I didn't. Excuse me? Oh, I'm zooming. The dog is right there watching the television. Should get the horseshoe. I see teleform. Oh, we get to see the tape? No, we don't. Watch the... What, what's the Morse code? Oh no, he's gonna do a YouTube demonetization thing. Spectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Possivelmente a minha última. Wait, it's the ending, but also the tape? Para todos vocês. Descobri algo nas últimas semanas que tem, tem me assombrado desde então. Palavras não serão o bastante para descrever o que descobri. Portanto, eu vou precisar mostrar. E talvez isso venha a assombrar vocês, assim como tem me assombrado. Mas a minha profissão, o meu trabalho, foi revelar a verdade durante todos esses anos. E se quisermos nos libertar, preciso que todos saibam disso que tenham mostrado. Por isso... Acho que todos sintonizem bem seus aparelhos. Não cruzem suas pernas, isso é importante. Mas fiquem confortáveis com a coluna reta. E observem com atenção. Did I stray? Oh, what the fuck? He's gonna haunt us forever. There was no tape! Was the tape... Was the tape... Wait, the tape of him doing that is... What? Wait, huh? I'm so confused. Guess you're not a part... Never mind. Well, we literally barely discovered anything. Okay, so this is tape number one. What the hell? We got this question mark thing, and there's many other ways to go. Let's. Shall we try and be as rude as possible to the lady? I'm curious. Uh, I'm assuming that was only one of many endings. Let's see. Rewind. Can we choose a specific place to go to? 
That's very strange. Oh, be kind, rewind. Everyone loves a rerun. Okay, this is the right building. She is... You guys were lying to me. She had two ends all along. You liars. Unless, unless this is already fucked up. Let's remove the lens cover. Wait, you guys just... Li <laughs> what? She didn't? She, she has two ends, so she's totally fine. Right, it's best to have as much material. It's okay, so we're going... I'm just going to click the right button now. It's still messed up, or maybe it was just a mis misspelling and it should, uh, what did I click? I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna get to different endings. Like, how are we... What is the goal here? Very strange. The game gave me an achievement for remembering the right name. Yeah, how many achievements do we have? Um, see? 19 of 35 different achievements. What does this mean, by the way? What are, like, the, some of the rare achievements? There's so many fucking achievements, dude. It was 1N? Okay, never mind. I guess you guys were right. The name changed. I mean, it's straight... Maybe it was literally just a bug. I don't know, because now it's double N. Uh, let's go just do it immediately. Skip to the chase. Not a bug, it's intended. But then why is the end... We're going through the first iteration and the end is still fucked up. All right, we're just gonna knock. Because we know this works. I wonder... Let's see. Let's do that. What do you mean? It malfunctions. Sometimes it blacks out for no reason. I think they gave me this one because I'm new. Let's do the story. Then Ferrara won't be able to deny you some new equipment. We're doing new options here. Let me try again. We're in the past of a future that hasn't happened. Uh, what if she won't see us? Is she even... What if she won't see us? If she won't see us, I'll think of something else. I doubt she's left the house since yesterday. All right, third time's the charm. This is when she opens. It looks a bit different. I think it's still the same. Adriana. What the hell? Like, what actually happened to Walter? He got shot, or stabbed, or poisoned, or... Hanged, right? Wanted to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, good thinker, huh? I can't believe she bought that. Let's try to be rude. Maybe she needs this now. Come on, before she changes her mind. Okay, maybe it's the same. What if we say different things? Thank you for welcoming us, Mrs. Martins. I don't know if doing early on changes makes much of a difference or if mostly the last part matters. Let's see. Missed two achievements, what? You pulled a fast one on you, huh? Forget that, let's snoop around while we have the chance. Be sure to get anything that catches your eye on the ca on camera. Let's go all the way to the back. Because we didn't check this out at all. Look at this photo. Oh, something is bleeding through. Did you see that? Okay, some scenery. Not a very appealing scenery. Plus, it's out of focus. This photo has a story behind it. I can feel it. I might ask her about it during the interview. Okay. Oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of the same wall. To look around the whole room. I've already done that. Yes, thank you. I want to do this. There's a painting here. I think Mrs. Martin's painted painted this. Anything else? We got books. You knew Walter better than I. He read a lot. He read most of the newspapers every day. I guess these books belong to Mrs. Martin's. Look, a daily trophy. Oh right, Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. Station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Local stations have zero chance against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. We should... I can hear her putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out... We should really do this book and ask about this book, right? Because this was special. There's a lot of books. Anything interesting? There's a book that doesn't fit here. Because we... This book, like, changed before. Um... Let's see. What else do we... Anything important? She's gonna sit there. I'm seeing that... Look at this headline. The tragic passing of Walter Martins. So it's made the news already. Surprised she actually kept the paper... Me too. I guess people have different ways of mourning. We're gonna be done soon. Anything here? Maybe we can look up? Aha! Uh -huh. Is that a horseshoe? Seems so. Like, for good luck? I didn't know Walter was superstitious. 
we need to talk do we we need to talk with gun with gunpowder right or just do we just ignore the dog at all we can't it can't be done we have to talk the doggy okay coffee's almost done can we look out the door oh we should have done that uh no i'm fine let's say no this time feel free to have one if you change your mind so, oh i got <laughs> caffeine yellows your teeth is that true refuse some liquid sanity let's get this done with great we'll begin shortly let's shoot okay let's see ready no but it doesn't matter okay let's go in three two one we're here with mrs adriana martins okay so it's still the same i'm just trying to let's see so let's talk about the the blurred photo on the shelf because that was dangerous you have a rather peculiar picture in your living room ah oh, that was the first picture i took with the two of us i put the camera on a tripod and set it all up to take a, our picture then well, this lap wing showed up out of nowhere. I think we were too close to its nest. The bird got furious and attacked the camera right when it took the picture. Then it attacked us. This was the result, a portrait neither of us appear in from yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny we had it framed. What the hell? I used to find it funny too. To the electronics manual. Walter was an avid reader. What had he been reading these last few days? He'd walk around the house with some manual or something in his hands. An electronics manual, I think. He kept messing around the VCR. I know this is because he even stopped reading the papers. Uh, the amulet above the door. Did Walter have any superstitions? He didn't seem to have one, but I, I was... He did seem, didn't seem to have one, but I was just a co-worker. We never get to completely know someone, right? No, never. He wasn't religious either. So the amulet above the front door is yours? No. Care to elaborate? No! <laughs> okay, but... Uh, many books. Let's do the awards. Walter was a high caliber professional working at a small station. Would you like to comment on that? He felt he had less problems with higher ups when working at a smaller station. He could suggest topics, be more hands on. He also believed in keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't an ambitious man, not in that sense. He was a good man. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I can keep going. Of course, Mrs. Martins. We have enough material already. He was so different, so nervous. Never expected him to. No one expected that, Mrs. Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Now we go this. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we say here, but we'll go. We'll see the knife here, I guess. Use the knife. What? How can that be? My God. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. And okay, so now we're not gonna watch the tape here, right? We need to be careful not to watch the tape. I don't know what he saw on this thing, and I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. Want to watch it for your show? I don't want to watch it. No, no. Um, this is it. We have quite a story here. You look like you've seen a ghost. You'll stay, right? Are you crazy? I'm out. Whoa, whoa. Stop right there. I'm not letting you throw this opportunity away. Look, you don't have to watch it. Just don't. This is the same. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's content in the video during editing. Oh, okay. It's literally the same. That's it? A commendable effort? Okay, so now we're just gonna skip through this. Because I just, it's gonna be the same. Or maybe it matters what we say here. Uh, what is this place? Don't recognize. We'll say some other endings. You have to be here, you can't leave. Uh, deja vu, head hurt. Me, it's the eyes. Oh, it changed. Good. So he did go inside the building. What is this place? Uh, looks like a school. Are those classrooms? It just, it doesn't matter. It's always whatever you want it to be. Someone up ahead, the, the freaking crazy guy. Are we going to ever play as Juliana? I don't know. What are they saying? I cannot hear what you're saying. Or what the monster's saying. What if she now turns from two ends into one end? Huh? What if we- what if we try and be funny? Char, take my hand. Let's try and be funny. It's a car. You heard that, really? can't understand a damn thing. Let me turn up the volume. Oh. Is that Walter?
Hey, you okay? That's it. I'm turning this thing off. I had it. I'm out of here. And we loop. Okay, so we didn't change much besides a few extra achievements there on the on the first loop. But this is only the first part of... So there's like three major loops. F this, I'm out. It's like a VHS horror you're playing through. This is like one of those where you need to like put all the pieces together for even to understand anything at all. <laughs> This shit is so confusing. She still do Wait, she looks even more different now. She doesn't look as... Uh, she doesn't look as uh, angry as last time. She still has two ends, though. Interesting. We're in the right building. Is the camera on? On now? Yeah, the footage might be useful. Okay. Let me get the button. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck? You look like you've seen a ghost. Okay, so it's all bleeding together. What the hell is going on? I guess I'm just nervous. What? This game is so weird, dude. You look different today. Uh, I guess I got some deja vu. What if we say that? I changed my makeup. I think her face changes. Did her face change again just now? Still don't know what it was with the with the one N. No Juliana with three Ns though. Okay, let's get the sure we'll do head directly to it. I don't think we're gonna do anything else Yeah, she did have one end, but I don't know why they haven't brought that back at all or haven't done anything with that Finally Here we go knock on the door Schmack 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 Good evening, we're from channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. You don't mind if we record this, right? I you want to talk to Walter, right? Yeah, yeah just... I'm assuming it's the... So she lets her in... She lets us in no matter what. Aren't you coming on a little, little strong? There's something off here? Did we say that last time? Yeah, there is. That's what we'll find out. Come on, get in. I'm just... Like, how do we get to the major plot? We're about to begin. Will you have anything? Nope. She makes it. After 27 loops, it's gonna be infinite. Can we walk? Can we look through the door here? I'm curious. I wanna look through the door. Can we look through the people? Uh, oh my god, hello. Um, on a glitch. You're pe you peeping, Tom. There's something there, all right. Okay. Um, do we have we we have we missed anything? We've looked at pretty much everything around here. There's a bird now. Hi. Okay. There's a knife. It's a knife. It's what I saw before. It's a knife, but also poison and a noose. Did you see that? It was all three at the same time. Something about this TV gives me the creep. There's something there, right? Okay, so we're getting like achievements left and right. 24 out of 35 achievements. What the heck? He's crazy. Um, anything we... Let's read this again. I think it's the same though, right? Oh, well, missing. That's the same certificates. Wait, did her... What if we ignore dog? Because we talked to dog before. And we do this again. Now that's a blurry photo. A weird thing hanging above the front door. Okay, so now she gets mad. What if we say fuck you? What if we refuse? You heard me. You could reach up there if you jump, so take it down. It's getting on my nerve. I won't do that! Do you always talk back like that? What do you mean? It's just a little favor. Come on, we'll put it back up later. No! I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Fine. I get achievements for that? No? No achievements? Okay, then. Um. Pretty sure there was a pair of boots here. I guess we'll talk to... Okay, she comes back. Nothing happened. It was just that. Okay. Get to the point. Walter took a tape. So we're going to watch the tape. Want to see the original? Well, yes, I have it here. We actually avoid watching the tape here, right? Because we went outside. He goes outside. So what if we are rude to the lady now? Like, I don't want to be rude to the lady, but last time we were super nice. You want to show a video? Hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? 
I said that last time, right? We're not shooting anything. We don't have a lot of time. And I make her made her uncomfortable. Let me check the tape. Maybe there's something we can add to the video and editing. Meanwhile, go talk to her. Interview the widow. You always wanted to conduct an interview, right? We can always... We can make some time that way. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of this tape. Okay, so let's be rude. I'm sorry to the lady. I apologize. We're gonna try and make her mad. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. Focus. Okay, let's see. I might get new opportunities. I'll probably change nothing. Let's be selfish. Let's play the reporter, Mrs. Martins. Uh, what is it? Are you done? Not yet. Juliana's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions for your program. Shouldn't the girl be asking those questions? Um... Uh, it's an opportunity for me. Let's be selfish. Walter also worked many jobs before settling as an anchor man, radio sound operator, and so on. Fine, let's do this interview of yours. You'd better think very carefully about these questions. My head's about to burst. Um, what's in the tape? She's just going to say, I don't know, but let's ask about Walter. Normal, like any other day. He spent so much time watching that thing, but his behavior was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note. I only op noticed it minutes after it had already happened. Wait, did we did we miss this note? The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Do you know where the tape come from? Why did he make a copy? Why did you keep the tape? I have no idea why I kept the thing. I should have burned it, crushed it with a hammer, but I couldn't. I couldn't. I think I see him when I look at the tape, you know? Just thinking about that girl alone in my living room watching the thing makes my skin crawl. Say, why is she so interested in that tape? Uh, to tell the truth, so am I. Of course, the copy ended up being blank, right? Or it got burned, I'm not sure. Uh, Bonita, thank you for <laughs> for the KWD donation. I don't know what that is. And Captain Hannah, thank you for the super sub. I can see how this would entice you. It's a mystery after all. But, don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I can swear I've seen her before, to be honest. I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I've been working- I haven't been working here for long. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her, not yet anyway. Okay, so this is all just the same. Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tasks. Um... Can we conclude the interview first? No, 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 we can't. You came here. I didn't call anybody. I have the, the right to ask my questions. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The allure of a sensationalist piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape, from this whole thing. It really didn't cause anything positive until now. I know that better than anyone. And if that's the case, wouldn't it be better to stop? Our job is to inform people so that others don't need to pay for the same high costs. I wonder if the authority to cancel... Let's do this. I'd like to believe that. I feel like not even you believe that. I'm not repeating myself. To be honest, wait. I wanted to believe it too. Oh yeah? But you said you're interested in the tape. I don't deny it. But we all know what curiosity did to the cat. Oh no, not the cat. We do. I don't want this story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly, drop the camera. You serious? You can tell them the crazy old lady clawed at you. I don't care. Here, a little push out the window. Throw the camera? What? It fell down? Is this fucking haunted? Okay, that was one of the major... <laughs> the major things making her... Oh, well, I guess I didn't... I mean, I made her angry. Okay. I don't think we're ever gonna figure out what the fuck happened here. Oh, it's the guy again. I don't think they're gonna show the tape ever because it's gonna have, like, someone shooting themselves, which <laughs> wouldn't be very safe. Okay, but we're back here. I need to reach the apartment. The apartment... Which apartment? What if we go fully wrong here? What if we go 806, like upside down world? Was, was that the number? I had someone else with me. What if we just go full on? I kind of want to see what happens if you press the double end version. 
Let's do double N instead of single N. That's right. The bitch! <laughs> okay. Jesus. That tape. <laughs> That's just not what I expected. What I saw in it. I watched an unrecorded nightmare. Uh, let's do this. And if it was not recorded, can I ever wake from it? The apartment. She stayed there. <laughs> she's mad. She or she's mad. Okay, better to record everything. Everything can be used. Um, we didn't go this way last time, right? Yes, this way. We went the other way last. Oh no, we went this way. Smell this before? Can we turn around? We cannot turn around. Let's ignore the dog this time. We have to. The smell, it's stronger here. Follow the smell. Is this the apartment? The smell is coming from inside. The smell, it's ozone. Um. Oh, we get another tape. What the fuck is going on? Uh, okay. I got a full, there's just a short one. Better to record everything. Everything can be used. Okay, I died immediately. Let's go this way this time. Oh, it was the creepy girl. What if we just say, I don't want to see what's in there. Uh, wait, did I click the wrong one? I, I said, I, I thought I said, I don't want to see what's in there, but I guess I said, yes, whoopsie. <laughs> Okay, uh, is there any other way we can go through this? I think we've done all options here. We went to... What? We gotta follow the dog, right? Keep going. We need the dog, otherwise it does, we can't do this. But we ignore the note this time. We ignore the note. Follow the dog. Last time we read the note, uh, it looks like there's a note. Go after gunpowder. Yes, I hear doggy. I'm going inside. I'm going. I need to. Or we could leave there, I guess. Maybe we should have left there. I just noticed it now, and it's awful. Let's keep it to ourselves this time. No, forget it. I'm only doing this to gather as much footage as possible. I was told that this... I was told that was important once. Gunpowder, I'm going in. Could have left, but I feel like last time we didn't follow the dog directly. Um, this TV is still broken. Can I actually move it around slightly? Oh my god, hello. Can I look through the people? I can't. I was hoping I could. The back here, maybe? Can't click nothing. Alright, well, here we go. The horseshoe there. Whoopsie. Can we check that last time though? We checked that last time. Are we just gonna see the same thing again? I'm very confused. It's a very interesting game. It's just like uh it needs more visual visually interesting stuff if it wants to really keep my attention to go to the I've got a message for you, turn it off. Caros telespectadores, boa noite. Hoje nós teremos uma transmissão especial do nosso programa. Oi, você está vendo isso? Acredito que já seja tarde demais. Amantes deles já se tornaram nossos olhos. Tudo que vemos. Eu entendo o afã em buscar mais, entender mais. Mas já sabe o que aconteceu comigo, por tentar fazer o mesmo. Por que seguiu esse mesmo caminho? Bom, não importa. Já chegou a verdade, telespectador. E ela tem um custo. Mas não precisamos pagar o tempo. Não precisamos nos submeter. Ouça. Eles não têm controle disso. Não é ainda. Desligue o vídeo. Vá embora. E não volte. Escapará por entre os dedos deles. A maior das rebeldias. Vá embora. Não volte. What? <laughs> What the fuck? That was kind of awesome, man. Beep. All right, uh, turn it off. We have to leave. Okay, so the TV, it's just, it's a classic story of a tape that's like spreading and every time someone watches the tape, they die. But it's also like creating parallel universes or something, it seems. 
Uh, let's see how close we were to... I'm assuming that was a true ending based on the way they worded it. Uh, let's see, gallery. Okay, we have almost all except two of them, but I'm going to say that that is where... I feel like, I mean, the story still doesn't make much sense to me, but uh, that is about as far as we can reasonably go without... Like, having to min-max everything. That was very weird. Very cool, though. Alright. Well, anyway, next game. It is now time to finally play that game that people always want to play. Didn't I download it? I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if we can play this game properly. Um, because if I cannot talk during the game, then we're not gonna be able to play it. But we'll see how it goes. Uh... Oh, don't scream. Everyone knows it. It's the Twitter game. It's the, it's the latest viral TikTok bullshit. Uh, I don't, I, I'm sorry to be such a hipster, but I fucking despise. Or it always makes me very annoyed when a game goes viral on Twitter so that all the, like, 12-year-old kids fucking add me on Discord. Did you see this incredible new game? It's called Don't Scream. I don't know. I'm sorry. It's just fucking annoying. <laughs> I'll just try to play it without being rude about it, though. But the people that fucking kept telling me about this game for the last three weeks, I... Please stop. <laughs> Don't do that ever. It's so annoying. Especially people that have, like, no idea and are just spamming, uh, like, play the game now, play it now, play it now, not realizing that it's not even out yet. Um, okay, let's see. I have to max the game. Uh, what is going on? You guys can't see this. Here we go. Don't scream. Let me see if it actually records this time. Don't scream. Welcome to Early Access. Hello, we're Jury and Joe. Just two indie developers behind Don't Scream. A big thanks for you considering... Big thanks for considering being a part of our Early Access journey. Every scream you share fuels our dedication. Remember, playing Don't Scream during Early Access might come with some bugs and rough edges. This isn't the final version. But joining us now, you're not just playing early. You're helping us make it better. During our Early Access phase, we'll actively listen to players' feedback, players feedback to enhance the game and plan on adding the following more dynamic scares. Expansion of game lore. I didn't realize there was any lore. Optional objectives, team achievements, team trading cards, localization, blah, blah, blah. Uh, did you check our minimum recommended specs? I should have them. Don't... Don't Scream is built in Unreal Engine 5 and requirements are, are a fairly decent system to run smoothly. We are limited in how much we can optimize it without compromising the intended visual fidelity. Thank you for your support. I love the Teddy. Teddy is the best death for sure. Before playing Don't oh. Scream, please play the game the way we intended. This means setting up your microphone correctly. Here's how to do that. I opened the YouTube You should video? be able what to speak fuck? only quietly, not loudly. Okay, with slight go. gasps or sudden sounds counting as screams. If you speak too loudly and your voice exceeds the threshold of the microphone divider line, a red flash will appear on the screen signaling a scream. It's up to you to find a comfortable balance between speaking softly and what should be considered a scream when you calibrate your microphone. Oh, no. For optimal results, you should determine the best distance to position the microphone from your mouth. Please be aware that external audio software can impact your game's microphone calibration. Adjust settings in both your game and audio software for optimal calibration. Thanks for listening, play fair, and most of all, don't scream. Okay. Alrighty. Um, oh boy. And this is gonna be fucking annoying as <laughs> hell. Microphone divider line. So let's see. Ah! So that's a scream. But talking is, like, also a scream. How the fuck do I... This is impossible. I have to, like, fucking whisper like this. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? This is how we do it. I have, it's fucking ASMR video game. Hello. Agent Lynch, thank you for the six. Oh, no. I'm gonna... Can I move it slightly, at least? Microphone calibration. Do I... Am I turning? I'm making it worse. I'm making it worse. I feel like it should be, like, slightly less. Like to ah oh yeah i think that's i think this is fine if i now just talk a little this is gonna fucking suck dude <laughs> this is gonna suck because i have to like whisper like i'm fucking making an asmr video right five percent hello hello okay so now i can actually kind of talk i can whisper a little bit ah 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 i don't know it's it's a little 
Like, now I can almost talk fully out loud. I feel like six would be the balance here. But then it's like... It's a little weird. I have to do, like, ASMR. I have to be quiet. We can just restart if we fail, right? 1%. I'm trying to, like... Because I know, like, if it if we're making any sound... Like, now it's fine if I talk. Maybe that's too much. Like, I don't know. I, I still want it to reset me if I scream. I think 6 is the lowest we could possibly go. If we go lower than this, it's bad. You can... You cannot restart if you fail. You get one-shot opportunity. What? I mean, I can just restart myself, right? You can just fucking alt the for the game and retry. Microphone mute sensitivity? Mind your voice. If you set it up correctly, you'll be able to speak only quietly, not loud. Even when slight gasps or minor. I mean, this is fine, honestly. This is more than fine, even. Five is way too low, guys. I can, like, almost fucking scream out loud now, and it doesn't even consider a scream. This is fucked. This is way too low, dude. It has to be six or seven. Hello, hello? I mean, this is also... I feel like six is safer. I feel like six is safer, so we won't get cheesed by a scream. Like, if I just talk normal without screaming too much... It is, like, sometimes I talk and it recognizes a scream. What the fuck is this? We'll just fucking try it. If it doesn't work, we'll just change it. Uh, alright, play. Do we... Is this just it? Do we play? I'm waiting. Hello? What's going on? Um... We go. Don't scream. So I have to be quiet during this game, which is going to be very weird. It's going to be ASMR the video game. Ooh, it's very, very low sensitivity. Let me change the sensitivity. Uh, how do I? There's no options at all. I need to change up the turn up the volume. I don't know how this is going to work. Control. Oh, there. I was. I thought this there. Control. Uh, that doesn't help me. Info. Before playing, no, shut up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How do I? Can I do a high quality, please? Um, I can erp my sensitivity. Okay, here we go. So, the special. Oh. <laughs> I did not scream, sir. <laughs> Okay, I fucking didn't even move at all. <laughs> okay, maybe this is not... So... <laughs> Holy... Okay, uh, maybe we do 5%. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's just, like, I feel like 6% is okay, but, like, I just have to be really quiet. Okay, so... Alright, uh, before I open this, if you're watching this on YouTube, so the idea of this game is... That I need to not scream, which means I can't talk very loudly. So I'm going to be quiet during this video, hopefully, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay. I'm going to walk. It's a cool looking game, dude. Uh, it's, it's censored for YouTube. Can I move? So the time stops when I don't walk. That's kind of interesting. Hello? What are you? October 31st, 1993. This is probably handmade, right? Here sounds. Is this a plane? Is this the start of the forest? Kinda looks like it. Why do I move like this? I don't know. I know that I'm talking really weird, but that's because the game will restart if I talk, like, at a moderately high volume, so... We're just whispering. It's ASMR. I'm checking this out, though. This looks kind of sick. Looks very good. Uh, there's people hanging. Don't do that. I'm gonna get demonetized. This is totally the start of the forest, by the way. It's supposed to be so quiet. Hi.
I'm gonna turn up the volume because this shit is way too quiet. What is going on? We go in the plane. Am I supposed to be jump scared here? Can't jump. I don't know if I'm playing this right. I'm just walking here. I'm walking and whispering. I hear evil no noises. So, oh. Fucking died, dude. Rest in peace. But the time doesn't move while I'm standing still. Just kind of interesting. What is this? Very weird to play a game where I can't talk. It's like almost unplayable as a streamer. I don't know why so many people are asking me to play this. Like, how, how is this interesting to watch? Uh, it's been spooky noises. Iron head incoming. Quiet, man. You, you already know. You already know the way that I'm gonna lose this game is because the game is like fucking two decibel volume, and then when there's a jump scare, it's gonna be fucking. Ah! <laughs> like, it's gonna be the loudest shit of all time. What is this? building we already died by the way we tested it out before and we died by just like walking at a moderate volume so that's why i'm like being so quiet right now it's a spooky spooky shopping cart a cool looking world though don't get me wrong mini mart Actually, haven't done as much screaming as as I would expect. Any bodies here? I was expecting to have jump scares every few seconds. Looks very cool though. Yeah, this is like that cla that classic uh, real life filter that they put on these VHS games. Do build tension. I guess that's why they're starting off like this, just building tons of tension, and then it's gonna jump scare. That was a very quiet jump scare. <laughs> what the fuck was that, dude? <laughs> Am I supposed to hear something? Who's taking a leak?
Air sounds. This is, it is so far exactly what I expected, which is that, like, the, the problem with a game like this for me is that, um, so games aren't very scary. Like, horror games are only as scary as you allow them to be. So if a game goes into it saying, like, the only thing you're trying to accomplish in this game is b not being scared. Like, you just fucking play it as if it's like... Like, I don't... I always despise people that are like, Oh, dude, this whole... Like, Phasmo is so not scary. This other horror game is so not scary. Because you're doing it wrong. You're playing it wrong. The whole idea of a horror game is to allow yourself to be scared. So the fact that this game actively discourages you from being scared is very silly to me. Because it means that, like... You're just like, don't, it's not a horror game. <laughs> I mean, it's, I feel like I'm gonna scream at least once, maybe. Flashing lights, guys. Anxiety, you're scared. Definitely cool though. I want to like explore this world. Is there something out here? Or am I just leaving? I don't know what's going on. 12 more minutes. person very spooky we just started the game it's 12 minutes just trying to be quiet Ooh, else walking around hello there a oh, cool they got a lot of cool atmosphere going on here this is I'm not saying this is a bad game at all I'm just saying that the concept not being allowed to scream is very stupid if you want to make it a fun game to watch. <laughs> That's all. Like, it's probably fun to play. It's just not fun to stream. <laughs> Where am I going? can't sprint at all in this game. Is that a jump scare? You wondered how this game looks? This is it. You can't run in this game, no. How is it not picking up my voice at all? Like, let's step it up slightly. To s I mean, if I talk normally, it immediately picks up a scream. Ah! You see, it all picks up. Like when I'm actually making like a scared noise. I'm just testing to see if it's working. By the way, de let's just put it at default so people that are watching the YouTube video aren't going to be like, Oh, dude, you're cheesing. This is default. Eight is default. It looks very good, that's for sure. Oh, jump scare time. Oh. 
That's really cool. Like, it's genuinely really cool. Uh, this is very interesting. she talk without a head that's a good question or if you just run in a circle get teleported what the fuck is that confused. Definitely nailed the head bobbing and stuff. I feel like they're teleporting me. Be kind of spooky. Like I hate how I'm turning into the guy that I despise when I'm when I when I play horror games that I call scary. Because this game, I would genuinely find this terrifying. If I was allowed to be scared. <laughs> like the fucking the problem is that this game's purpose is to not allow you to be scared, which not being scared is fucking easy as hell. Because it's just like like it's a game. It's not gonna kill you. Like you can just walk around and just look at things. Like <laughs> that's the problem. Back here now. I feel like it's teleporting me around. Every time it goes dark, I think it's teleporting me. I'm not not saying at all that this is a bad game, by the way. That's not what I'm doing. going on right now it's spooky it was very cool like visually and for audio as well they're obviously not just spamming jump scares which is nice 
they're actually trying to build tension and then do a jump scare. I hope you can hear my the quiet talking. vibes kinda so much to explore here I've already been here Hello. Back to the plane. I turned. I turned up. There's no volume. Oh. There's no volume options. I turned up the game sound like uh way more than it is supposed to be. I'll turn it up even more. Like I don't know why the game is so quiet. I guess I don't want it to be like a cheap jump scare fest, but like, it's extremely quiet. I turn up the volume. I, I've I have the volume like tripled right now, on your guys's end than I usually do. Hi. in the game or what? Like genuinely spooky, though. Stranding, basically. Just don't want to die to talk. And I scared her. The game lost its challenge. to find as many scary things as possible i'm not trying to get away from them no i'm just whispering this must be so fucking annoying fighters are back <laughs> that was a all a jump scare Like, 
Only two men. We gotta pull out the big guns. I'm scaring now. Graveyard shenanigans, or what now? Twenty seconds. I lose stuff? Can I talk again? Or what? Is it over? It's ogre? There's a door in the forest. Spooky door? No? Excuse me. Okay. You didn't scream for now. You survived 66 scares in total. So, I actually... So, I know we played that. Because the game, like, on the Steam store and in on all of its, like, marketing is, like, really try to not be scared. So that's what I did. I, I played it according to how you want me to play your game, which is not allowing myself to be scared which is like the easiest fucking thing to do because a you or because a horror game is not scary it's only scary if you allow it to be scary which is like so important i like you play a game wrong if you play it like this which is why like and i know it sound really cynical like i'm trying two things here so or i'm, I'm trying to explain two things here uh, like the, I, I think the concept of not being allowed to be scary is very silly because the whole reason that I like playing a horror game is to like allow myself to be scared, to just go into that mode where any little thing will make you jump, will make you scream, will make you fucking like twitch and cry like a baby, uh, because that is fun. When you don't allow yourself to be scared, you have, you do this. You just like fucking straight face, play a game which is why i always find it so incredibly so i don't want to turn into that guy because like that's what i always hate whenever i play a scary game and people are like this game is not scary at all it's like yeah good 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 job big boy you didn't allow yourself to be scared you played the game wrong which i think is like um why when i heard of the concept of this game i was like oh this is going to be a big misser for me personally it's going to be a big misser for be for me personally because I don't know if I'm just like a fucking outlier or something, but like horror games are as scary as you allow them to be. Like you, if you immerse yourself and you really like fucking go into that zone, it's super fun to be scared. It gets the heart pumping, which this game definitely got the heart pumping for me. Sorry, I'll, I'll increase this so the the screen is not gonna flash anymore. Um, it gets the heart pumping. It gets you like that adrenaline or not necessarily adrenaline but it gets you like that that feeling like something is wrong the cold sweat the like it's so fun to be scared i love being scared by horror games um and like don't, don't flame this game by any means i know this game is going to terrify many many people it's going to make people scared um because those people are kind of for, like they if you don't if you forget about the the microphone aspect and you just like play it and scream like 
this game should be called Scream, and then I would have had a better experience if you got points for jumping at things. That would have been fun as hell. <laughs> like, you get points for being scared. Or they have to make, like, something where if you, like, twitch or something, because they definitely twitched, like, once or twice there when, like, the witch came up on the screen for the first time. That definitely freaking got me. Like, my eyes went wide, and I jumped because it was like, holy fuck. Um, but yeah, so let, let's actually walk around without the microphone feature now. Let's walk around without the screaming, uh, like, thing not allowing us to scream. And just, like, check around and, like, rate the scares. Just, like, rate the experience and the scares. And, like, have a better experience without the, like, ASMR challenge. Because uh, I really like stuff like this. Like, where they, like, how it starts here with you, like, being in this forest. Let's look around. What do we got? We got Mini Mart over there. Homestead. I didn't go to the homestead. Let's go to the homestead this time. We checked out the cemetery. We checked the Mini Mart. Let's go to the homestead. So yeah, I don't by any means want to discourage the devs or like want to seem superior. It's just that if you're going to like pose yourself as a challenge of not screaming and I don't scream, like you can't really blame me for like not screaming. You can try. You can like be like uh uh, uh, but actually Andy and be like, oh, you should have turned up the the microphone calibration wasn't correct or uh, Why is time not moving? Excuse me? Did I fuck it up? <laughs> Am I playing it wrong? Is it because oh, it's because I turned off this What's going on Mic off equals no timer What? I don't understand. That's not... This is just bugged. <laughs> this is just bugged. By the way, you want to see what happens if you scream? Ah! <laughs> you fucking die. <laughs> you just... You fall and die. <laughs> you scream. You have to restart. <laughs> just like in real life. <laughs> okay. Does it work now? Does it work? Not working. I think my game is bugged. I'm gonna quickly restart. What? Ah! I'm gonna restart. <laughs> okay. Let's do that again. Don't scream. Emotional damage. <laughs> you have to leave the hub area? Really? Oh, did I do it wrong? Just fall over, scared to death. Okay. Does it work now? Here we go again. Does it work? Okay, here we go. Oh, there you go. Now it's working. Okay. So we're going to turn down the microphone. Just... I don't know why it wasn't working there before. It was just bugged. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn on the microphone just so we can talk and, like, actually enjoy the experience as, like, a proper horror, uh, horror experience rather than it, like, being this ASMR thing. Um, so I really, I think the graphics are great. I, I like, I'm, I, I saw, so I posted, uh, I've played a lot of games with this type of, uh, graphics where it's, like, uh, like, this is what, what has become hyper-realistic because it looks very realistic. Now, it's not hyper-real by any means because it's actually, like, actively trying to make it look worse. Like, in this, like, the textures are really not that detailed, but because there's, like, this VHS filter on top, and it is, like, the more games I play with this filter, not to, like, be rude to these devs, it is getting a little bit cheaper at this point. Like, this is, like, the, I don't know, the 10th game in a relatively short amount of time that i've played that has seemed really realistic but like if i really closely inspect stuff or i really think about it the main reason it looks realistic is because of the like camera effects that they put on it like you can see a really heavy uh film grain that's on this you can see a really heavy uh like i don't know you can see lens flares it's like a square right and it seems like it's like a found footage style uh, which is, is easier to make a game look realistic. Like, you can make games look absolutely insane with Unreal Engine 5 without using these filters as well. Not saying that they're, like, ter terrible or bad or something, but just, like, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit of a shortcut to make your game look realistic. Um, 
rather than like I, I i don't want to see this become the full on norm i i guess i'm this is what i'm saying i don't want to the jumpy i don't want to have horror games like all just be vhs games in the future like i hope we're gonna see a mix of games like this and games that are truly like uh, unreal engine graphically intense um like that really push just the textures and stuff to its limits Hello there. jesus christ it's so loud have a good one priya like if oh hi i gave you a kiss on the booty are you still there? Did I despawn you by walking into you? Excuse me? Someone is running at me. This is genuinely, like, spooky, right? <laughs> like, this is good scares, man. Like, just atmosphere. I mean, it's a little... It's a little visually... Like, this is the problem with a game like this. If all... Like, it, it calls itself, like, a scare simulator. Is that all the scares are the same, right? Like, we saw that same... Um, we saw that same spider scare like seven times when we played the game normally, right? I wonder if when the camera goes dark, it like teleports you around or something. It's like the one, the main thing, like if you just, oh, that was kind of sick. There was someone behind the door. Did you see that? <laughs> if you, if you just run in a circle in the, in the starter area, someone behind me. Like, that would be, like, the easiest way to counter. Can you beat this game? That would be the ultimate challenge. Can you beat the game with the minimum amount of scares? Like, what's the minimum amount of jump scares you can get? Like, obviously, when we reach zero seconds, they actively just started throwing jump scares at our face to try and get us to scare. Also, like, it's actually kind of rare that... Like, I do scream relatively often when I play horror games. And this is not, like, this is what I'm saying. What I'm saying, or what I'm not trying to say is that every time I play a game where I get, like, genuinely scared or I call the game scary, it's not because I'm pretending to be scared. It's because I'm allowing myself to be scared. I, and I don't know if this is because, like, I have, like, I have had to start to develop, like, vocabulary to explain these type of things because I've played, like, thousands of horror games in my, in my days. Like, I've played so many, well, maybe not thousands, but I've played hundreds hundreds upon hundreds and over a thousand total of horror games um so like at a certain point you get maybe desensitized if you allow yourself to be desensitized and it's, it's somewhat of a challenge honestly like playing horror games and being scared can be genuinely a challenge like and so sometimes you just wake up and you're like today i can't be scared like i don't know if that's like uh if that's something other people experience too. But sometimes I just wake up and I'm like, my, my brain is just like thinking about other stuff. Like I'm just like, oh fuck, I got to do my taxes later this week. Or like, oh fuck, I got to send that really important email that I've been pushing off for the last like three days. <laughs> like, I don't know. My brain just gets occupied by other things and I just can't like be scared. <laughs> I can be scared by the fucking email I have to send <laughs> or the taxes. <laughs> Fucking jump scare my taxes and I'll be real scared. <laughs> no! <laughs> this is a, it is interesting, like, uh, interesting phenomenon. It's an interesting conversation. So don't be too rude to me. Don't be too rude to the devs in the comments. But I would love to talk about this. I would love to have a conversation about this. I know, because that's the thing why when a game like this comes out, it's also kind of frustrating because, like, it's like a viral game, right? A lot of people on Twitter have seen the clips and people want to see their... Oh, Jesus Christ. People want to see their favorite streamers play the game and scream and get restarted and stuff. I hear people whispering. So, but like... It's it's the same thing. The, same, the exact same thing with this game happened with Demonologist. When Demonologist first came out, people kept spamming me like, oh, it's scarier than Phasmo. It's a scarier Phasmo. Scary Phasmo. Go play it. Go play it. And like it really, as someone who like uh, plays many, many horror games and uh, like has a YouTube channel and makes content for a living, 
that shit is kind of annoying because like clearly the people that are sending those messages are not very mature or are just children literally um and they like i don't know the way they talk to you like you're some kind of monkey like monkey do the trick do the trick go play horror game and scream at horror game monkey monkey do trick go jump go do your thumbnail face it's just like really fucking annoying. <laughs> Like, I don't know. And it just gives me, like, this, this, like, ad like, it, it immediately makes me, like, not want to play a game. <laughs> like, as someone who, who has to, like, or, like, gets so many suggestions, like, all the time. Especially a game like this. I've been, for the last three weeks, I've been getting, when are you finally playing Don't Scream? Are you finally playing this game? And I'm like, my brother in Christ, it's not even out yet. The day we're playing this, by the way, you're watching this on youtube it's literally the day that the game came out it, i played it as early as i possibly could uh there's dead birds falling from the sky jesus christ what was that it's interesting like i would have to i guess so even af after having played this many horror games uh i wouldn't ever recommend the wait what i'm sorry I, there's so many long messages but they're flying by so fast i'm sorry if i miss your message um because I really love the horror genre. Like, I, I really enjoy... Like, something like... I think it's a good example. A game like Complex Found Footage scares me so much more than, like... I guess this game scares you, right? If you, if you Again, if you allow yourself to be scared. But a game like Complex Found Footage... So many... When I posted that game and I was like, I'm genuinely scared by this type of experience. Um, so many people were like... Uh, really dismissive about that because how could you be scared of like walking around in the back rooms? That shit's not scary. And it's like, I don't, I don't know, man. Back rooms to me are like absolutely terrifying. They're like, uh, just like this weird space, like suddenly walking through an empty mall. Like it really gives, it gives you like a different type of feeling. Maybe that's why I enjoy it so much. Something like a back rooms game. I don't know what we're not seeing anything by the way right now. Um, because it's like a different type of scariness. Like, if you put yourself in that scary mode, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a, it, it creeps, like it walks on your skin, like back and forth. It's just like, it's not, it's not like cold sweat. It's more like these tingles that like go over, like back and forth over your spine or something. Like it's, it's cool, man. It's very unsettling. Like if you watch, I, I think this, I think a good, if you want to be scared or if you want to test like, um, Allowing your, if you want to test allowing yourself to be immersed, I think a great place to start is either like watch YouTube videos about horror games or something like that. Or what I can highly recommend, something that I've watched recently that genuinely fucked me up. Like that, that gives you, you know that feeling when you play a good horror game that you like, oh, I want to get a snack, but I'm not going to get a snack because I have to go into the dark kitchen and the dark kitchen is going to have like three killers in it that are going to stab me. Like, you know, that feeling that you like had a ton as a child when you literally did anything that wasn't in your room. Um, like that feeling. Um, Kane Pixels, the oldest view series, did that for me, especially the last video where the thumbnail is that monster the like statue monster with the hands up like this. What the fuck? The hands up like this and like the, the creepy ass face. Watch that one, turn off all the lights, put on your headphones and like just fucking go to town. It is so damn terrifying. It actually scared the shit out of me because like, like it's attention is really important and 18 minutes is also not very long right you can't really properly build tension and i think what's kind of funny about horror games and like playing them is that it's almost scarier to watch them i think it actually is genuinely scarier to watch a horror game than it is to <coughs> jesus christ than it is to play it because you don't have any control over what i'm doing right now like i i could be like you, you don't, you lo are looking here and like your brain or like when I'm watching someone play, like I kind of have like this, like I try to be a puppet master in my head. Like, okay, now go here, now go there. And then you don't have any control. I could fucking, I'm going to walk the other way. I'm going to walk backwards all of a sudden. And you're like, what the fuck? Walk forward, walk the other way. It's like, <laughs> it's because, uh, I don't know. That, that genuinely adds to the scariness as well. 
Like you, you don't have any power here. <laughs> Mandela catalog is genuinely <laughs> Like it's also what's what's uh, kind of interesting about these scares. These are not the most effective jump scares as I like, like I know we're not in scary mode, right? We're not, we're not immersed enough to be scared right now. But if I were to rate them as like how likely they are to scare me, I think the thing that fucks me up the most and that makes me like genuinely scream is when, fuck that was cool. Um, when I'm like trying to accomplish a task, I'm trying to do something like solve a puzzle or find an item, look on the ground and then suddenly there's a jump scare in my face that's what fucks me up a lot because my brain is like in this in this like separate mode where i'm like really paying attention to the detail like when you're paying attention to like observation duty and you're looking at like uh what did i just loop around when you're looking for small details and things that have changed and then the fuck and then suddenly you get like jump scared that really gets me because you're concentrated, like you need to, you need to, um, subvert, like, you need to subvert expectations to make a whole, to make a jump scare scary. If you like, you can't like genuinely be scared by a lady standing there, walking up to the lady and then the lady screams because you know exactly what's going to happen. Like that's why jump scares are generally so effective because they're so like out of like, they come out of nowhere, right? So they, they can be truly startling. Like, honestly, the jump scares here, where, like, the lady pops up and screams, got me to, like, flinch quite a lot when I played it the first 18 minutes. Um, but it is kind of impressive that they made a game like this. Uh, what is in here? Without, like, I mean, it definitely has lots of jump scares, but that is literally called like "Don't Scream." The whole purpose of the game is to be a jump scare, jump scare game, or like a scare game, like a scare simulator. But I think it's kind of missing that. It's missing the looking for something aspect, which I guess is also why a lot of people can't immerse themselves in back rooms because, like, it's also just like walking around randomly, right? That's what a lot of people feel. Like that is fucked, dude. That I I fucking oh sorry my screen screen is fucking up. Goosebumps, freaking tingles. Like that's a genuinely incredible scare. It was very loud. It could have been a little quieter, and it would have been fine too. But like something like that was a that was like a ten out of ten jump or like scary thing for me. Something like this. Where you just walk up to something and it like does a little scream like that's not scary. That was that was good. <laughs> that got me good. <laughs> it's a little too loud, baby. PT was a walking simulator. PT also had like the fucking PT when you're standing at the radio, you're listening to the radio and the guy on the radio goes like, uh, she's behind you now turn around turn don't don't turn or something like that that fucking is so fucked man <laughs> like that that's that gets you good because you're like so you're like listening to oh what is this news about and suddenly it talks to you and you're like what the fuck it's very well done I actually played pt or like the pt uh pc remake recently that stuff still holds up very well. It's just a shame that so many... Like, PT... We're not seeing it much anymore. Still a little bit. But... Like, that... Oh, what the fuck? Uh, that's... The, basically, every game was PT. Right? Every game was PT for a while. Where it was just, like, walking around in hallways and then stuff would happen. Uh, you can hear the music. You, I don't, I don't know if it, like, they're so, the music and the sounds, like, they're not truly unexpected jump scares. Like, a jump scare like that, the music was leading up to that. What is PT? It's like, a, it's a game of this very particular style, where you walk around, or you walk through a hallway, you open a door, and the door leads you back to the beginning of the hallway, and then you walk through the hallway again, you open the door, and you walk through, you, you're at the beginning of the hallway again. 
Um, but every time something changes and it gets progressively worse and worse and scarier and scarier, leading to like, um, like some real good horror horror moments. Yeah, I mean, I I played it several times on the channel. If you want to check it out, I think I played it twice. I mean, I played the remake, right? Because the the because <laughs> the real game does not. Uh, I can't get it anymore because it's got removed. What is that? Can we get something from the from the vending machine here? Yeah, it was supposed to be a lead up to Silent Hill, but the Silent Hill game never got made for some fucking reason. Even though that demo was incredible. Can I get anything from this? Can. Jima said he can't do horror games anymore. We're gonna get many jump scares here by the end. Get ready. I mean, it's like the concept of the game being just like walk around and get scared. Like you couldn't have, you need to add some kind of gimmick. And the gimmick was like marketing wise, fucking genius, right? The gimmick for this game, like it sold itself. Like people kept yelling at me to play it. Uh, probably every single content creator on the sun is gonna be playing this game because people are just like, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting phenomenon where people just want to see someone play a game where they're like, oh, I, I want to see how this person reacts, how that person reacts. I probably had the most fucked up reaction of everyone. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry I didn't give you the thumbnail face that you wanted to see. Um, but it's just, oh, what the fuck is going on here? The spiders are back. <laughs> see that one actually that was the one that almost like if i was in horror mode that one for sure would have made me scream that that like uh demonologist it's the same lady from demonologist by the way is the same exact face of the lady that one would have got me if i was like because because it's so unexpected i mean it's literally just a jump scare right like no build up, no nothing, which is why it makes it why it makes it or why it's so effective. One minute, get ready, they're gonna throw all the things at the wall. Why does the screen tilt like that? Is when I move the camera around, it does like a little swoop. This this camera does not have auto balance. This is good for horror. Like these moments where your screen goes dark or you can't see anymore. This game plus VR. VR is a. Uh, I mean, if it wasn't so fucking annoying. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if it wasn't so fucking annoying and uncomfortable. I'm just looking at the different areas. I don't know if they're scare specific to these areas. It feels like no matter where you are, you see kind of the same type of jump scares. But yeah, once again, I hope I'm not uh, making anyone upset, especially not the devs. Like, I, I, I met your challenge. Or like I tried to go what the fuck into your challenge in a way that like social media because that's a problem right you gotta market your game in a way where it's like uh it markets itself which is really what how horror horror games have such an advantage that they sell themselves because like people like uh it's not like a like a like a city builder or something where you have to make like ads for it for people to see your game no horror games people will just play them scream at them because it's a very social experience horror games are very social in nature because sharing something scary is really fun um can't go in here get ready for the last two jump scares guys what the fuck is happening we're just going through the game again without the microphone settings this time just to like explore a few more stairs. I love how the last one is just fucking like. <laughs> it's just one of those. Navi. Thank you for the donation. And then, it, and then the light goes on. And it's like you survived. You survived the night. But yeah, I, th I genuinely thought that was uh. Like. I like the just the exploring like that there were different cool areas like if they add if they build on this because it's an early access game right they're gonna make uh, additions to it 
If they make... Uh, what the fuck? If they make lore to this, I think that would nail it for me. Because that's why... Um, I didn't scare you. That was because I was cheating, literally. We got the exact same amount of scares. It seems like that's just scripted. It's not necessarily... Um, it's not because you visit different areas. Because I was truly trying to walk into all the scares when I was playing it the first time. But yeah. Um, I don't know uh, what I was supposed to do there. It's really weird. Because like the game tells you not to scream. But my YouTube career tells me that we should be immersed in scream. Um, but I just wanted to show you. Because I know that if I don't upload this video, I'm going to get 100 million comments. When are you playing this game? When are you playing this game? So here it is. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't scream. Uh, that was the challenge, though. They told me not to scream. And I didn't scream. So thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. Hope you enjoyed it all the same. And let me know. Let me know. T chime into the conversation. What makes a horror game scary for you? Um, for me, it's like if it provides a an immersive experience that allows me to understand what's going on because so many games have just like are insane to the point where nothing makes any sense and yes it makes you startle or it makes you jump but if something truly wants to be scary it needs to be immersive it needs to have something that makes sense going on something like when i played phasmo for the first time and you go into this house knowing that one of the rooms has a ghost in there that's gonna fucking wring your neck and kill you like that is a good like setup for making a scary game because it's like an immersive experience where you know walking through that door you're gonna run into a ghost that's potentially gonna murder you so yeah let me know in the comments down below hope you enjoyed uh if you're not subscribed please do so if you like the video like it if you dislike it dislike it and if you want to join the love the game share and chat you can join us over at twitch.tv slash insim or get the link in the description down below thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one bye guys have a good one bye bye <laughs> oh boy um, alrighty, well, uh, let's, can I quit? There we go. We're gonna, I need to lower my sensitivity. I don't know if we'll have enough time for this last game, because it's like two hours long, and we only have another hour. So I think, uh, what we're, wait, is there, uh, is this update out yet for don't, for, for dead signal? Let me see. We're gonna, if, if, if nothing else, we'll do some ghost gambling. Uh, let's see. Dead signal, dead signal update queued. Is the nightmare mode out yet? Quality of life. Wait, is there a nightmare? I'm quickly going to launch the game to see if nightmare mode exists. Because if nightmare mode is out, I want to play it. I don't know. We're definitely not going to beat it today, but I just want to see. Well, I think we'll probably... I just want to see if it exists so that we can play it tomorrow. Uh, why is my game lag... Why is my screen lagging so much? We can do some ghost gambling. Let's see if it exists, though. Is nightmare mode out? New game? Yes. No! All right. Well, we're going to be waiting for nightmare mode. Uh, I still have a video that's about to be uploaded. Okay, let's uh, hop into uh, Phasmo time. Spooky Phasmo time. And get ready to lose all your points. If you're watching on YouTube, there's no channel points on YouTube. So we're going to have to, if you want to like bet, you can you can watch. That's no problem at all. But if you want to bet with points and, and join in on that, uh, you have to come over to Twitch because there's, there's channel points over there. Uh, but anyway, let me set up the poll so we can go crazy mode. Post or wheel. Here we go. Get ready to lose all your fucking points. I like how this has become just our... Uh, when we just have some extra bonus time and we want to chill. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's Phasmo ghost gambling time. Where the fuck is my game? Welcome back. I there it is. Some jobs for you. Alrighty, this is not the wheel. This is not the right wheel. You lied to me. You lied to me, Walt. Ghost types. There we go. This is the right wheel. Copy this one. Okay, so if you don't know how this works, we're going to spin the wheel here. Uh, I'm going to remove this because the shit is in the way. And what whatever ghost it lands on will be our bet. And if you think it will be that ghost, you vote yes. If you think it will be any other ghost, you vote no. So here we go. This is going to be the wheel. Uh, which has every ghost on there. Let's see what the first ghost is going to be. The first ghost will be a mimic thing. Mimic. <laughs> That's the spicy one to start off with. Okay. Do you think it will be a mimic? Then you vote yes. If you think anything else, you vote no. Also, look at the decorations. Beautiful. If you haven't already seen, by the way, this, if you walk over here, um, ghost spooky ghost show up from last year and you can get a little ghost hug that's loud as hell 
Uh, and there's obviously other stuff all around the lobby. We got the, this guy right here just hanging out with his buddies. Doesn't look very happy though. We got that guy up there. We got the blood moon. We already did the event. We got the trophy. If you didn't see the trophy, look at this thing right here. Beautiful trophy with the fire and the this is what happens when you combine the potion ingredients you get like a super cool event on maple lodge you should check that out if you uh haven't already and you get yourself the the trophy as well as the badge right here which we have but anyway the pool is going on let me pull up the pole because i want to see um i want to see what's going on we have Boom. 6% believe? Are you insane? What the hell? Dude, you guys are actually mathing. The math is mathing. How is that possible? Doubters unite. Uh, this might be the closest we've ever seen to proper math on the first try. 6%. Not a single all-in doubter. We got 13 million points on doubt or a believer and uh not even a, a million on belief absolutely insane this could be some massive payouts let's see we're gonna go in on nightmare mode as per usual i still want to do a um uh no evidence as well for this but the problem with no evidence is that it can be like let's say we get a ghost like yure right we might think it's not a yure but then we don't know it until we spend like 20 minutes that's like the problem why i don't haven't done no evidence ghost gambling yet you got Susan Birch, go or uh, repel the ghost, firelight, and average sanity below 25. Let me change the cursor because I can't see right now. If, if you don't turn up your cursor to 500%, by the way, it makes it much easier to see where your cursor is. Uh, we're going to go in there. We're looking for mimic, which means we definitely want to see ghost orbs. Ghost orbs, freezing, spirit box, and UV, right? So let's hope we'll see the ghost orbs. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit unfortunate for the believers. Although there are luckily not that many believers. Uh, we have we have tarot cards here. I'm quickly gonna step outside because I need to change the YouTube title. I just forgot that I haven't done that yet. I need to have like a default ghost gambling thumbnail for if we have some extra time. I can do that. Let me. That's we're not gonna come in and be like, why is he not screaming at the don't scream game? Uh, live stream change. Um. Ghost gambling live. That's the th that's the title, and then thumbnail will just be the same from before. Why is she not screaming at the don't scream game? No. <laughs> As about stream. There we go. Stop, please. Why is it so fucked? There we go. Ghost gambling live asthmophobia there we go we've done it okay um we go back in we have to pull the tarot cards you know the rule you know the rule of tarot cards anything all right my thing is not here why did i drop my flashlight i don't know why i did that i, I knew the ghost was there that's why but i should have looked for the breaker first that Jure? I'm not sure. Wait, the breaker? Oh, no, the breaker. Okay, we got breaker. Bada bing, bada boom. Wait, this is the recipe, by the way, the recipe card. If you play every single map, you can collect the recipe and do the potion. All right, so let's see. This is ghost room right here. No, it's not the ghost room. Garage. It's such in the door. It's probably kitchen. Probably one of these. It's mm, getting colder here. I'll leave this here. I want to not check for ghost orbs right away, but I'm doing it. So if we don't see orbs here, I'm sorry. I apologize for the believers. See it. We got Susan again. I'll grab. I'll grab the stuff that we need. You want ghost orbs? Tarot cards? Yeah, well, we'll pull the tarot card. You know what? Let's pull the tarot card before we um check for orbs just to make it more spicy <laughs> here we go don't kill me please okay dude <laughs> Alrighty then well 
I guess we're not checking for orbs. We're just gonna get a hunt instead. Do you touch any? You touch these doors, right? No fingies, though. Is it getting cold here? It's slowly getting cold, but it can genuinely take forever. Come over here. Not a yokai. The crawly. Oh, it's not a crawly ghost. Is it a not a gin. Getting slowly faster. Uh, it's not Oni. Oh, it's a poltergeist. Wait, no, it's not. It just sounded like it threw like seven things at once. Okay. Um, I don't think it's an Oni, right? Aria, Aria, thank you for the five gift subs. Okay, so what do we have? No Oni, no Phantom, that's for sure. No Jin, no Hantu, Revenant, Dio, Moroi. Right, you either. This did not sound very quiet. Joke, thank you for the thousand biddies. Uh, didn't sound slow. All right, let's check for Orbeez. The Mimic could be literally anything. Um, please give us something. Uh-oh. Is this the ghost room? Oh, no. Don't ruin our dreams! Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Please talk to me. Please talk to me. Please scream at me like you're playing the game Don't Scream. Joe, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Thank you. Rip points. Uh, I'm gonna grab a writing book and a dots projector. Uh, okay, dude. <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Thank you guys for the freaking huge hype train. What the hell? So yeah, if you want to vote, I mean, we're gonna, I mean, we could reset this poll now, but it could still be hiding, you know? It could be hiding the orbs. So that's why we're being careful. There's a Twitch Prime on YouTube. I mean, that's like one of the things that is like insane that Twitch actually still does that. Like they're losing so much money on Twitch Prime. It's literally just free money. There was a time in history uh, in the Netherlands where getting Twitch Prime and subbing to someone already made up for the price of Twitch Prime because Twitch Prime was like $3 for like when it got introduced here, it was extremely cheap. So it was literally cheaper to, to get Prime and then sub every month than just like paying for the sub. So they were genuinely losing. Oh my God, stop it. They were genuinely just throwing away money. <laughs> but that only lasted for very short. You still pay three euros, really? Is this a demon? This is kind of crazy. I don't even know how much I pay. I don't know either. I haven't looked at it in a while. Can you stop hunting me? I could just take pills, but I don't want it. I don't want to take pills. It's 10 euro. Yeah, I thought it was... Is it still hunting there? Fuck. Uh, don't clip into the floor like that or into the thing like that, please. Uh, do we get EMF5? Can we just get something? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Why are we not getting any fucking evidence? Is this a fucking Goreo? Are you kidding me? Like, I just want to get a contradictory evidence so we can rule it out. Oh my god. But a demon would be... Am I dead? Oh, it's on the other side of the wall. We can just take pills. Why did I get an ad? If you're not subbed, you might get ads. I can't stop ads. It's just... It's really annoying. Couple more cards. We're gonna get a sun card. I'm just gonna run the fuck out of here. I think this is gonna be something demon-like. It's just we. I just wanna get fucking evidence, but I'm not getting any. Let's take three pills that'll give us 75. Um, test again. What do we gotta do? Repel. We'll grab the repel. Oh, I don't. 
Oh, because I have two double dots in my inventory? Yes, I do. Come on, thank you for the 10. Buddy bear, thank you for the 100 bitties. Um, I think you're in here. Like, this is your ghost room. But we have to check with this. It's 5 degrees here. It's colder here. Okay. But it's really hard for this room to get the freezing temps because the ghost moves between these rooms so much. So they will both get cold rather than one of them being freezing temps. It's weird that we didn't get spirit box. We didn't get any... Like, what if it would be freezing? It can't be a choreo. It can't be a shade, right? Because it hunted in the same room with me. Can you give us a sign? Oh, it's actually going up here now. And it's colder here. What the fuck? Weird as hell. I feel like it could be... I mean, we could place a uh, crucifix right there and do like a demon test. Can you please write in the book? I need to grab my tier 3 motion sensor to see where the ghost is actually at. Your first game, how do you gamble? We're currently figuring out what ghost is this. It's most likely not a mimic, but... Um, it's just that I don't have enough. Well, we could like respin here, but so many ghosts are impossible that it's a really high chance that whatever ghost it lands on will just not be possible. And then people that vote belief will just be absolutely scammed. We'll grab this. We'll grab a crucifix as well. Actually, let's just grab this for now. I already checked for orbs. There's no orbs. I'm sorry. It's not a mimic. I mean, unless it... <laughs> Unless it's hiding them. It turned off the breaker. We already knew it was in the gin, though. Why can't I place it on here? Mimic orbs can be sneaky, but that's some insane copium right there. Alright, where are you at? Not. Wait, what? Dude, where the fuck is this ghost? It's nowhere to be found. I'm scanning the whole area. It will point at the ghost if it is in the circle. Didn't it just throw something here? Basement? Uh, okay. It ha it's doing real weird shit. Is it in the basement? Let's see. It's getting warmer here. But there's lots. Oh, it probably just walked around here then, yeah. during a hunt. Not here. This ghost is very strange. I got the wrong address. Oh, hi. Is here? There you are. Okay. Can we please try a spear box? Um, where are you? Are you here? Are you close, close? to busting? What? Close, close to busting? Excuse me. What the fuck did the ghost just say? Brando Philo, thank you for the prime. <laughs> Excuse me. The fuck was that? <laughs> you hear that? Okay, wait, the ghost is still here. He's gonna bust. <laughs> Close to a bus lane. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so it's not a Gorio either. Oh, wait, check for fingies here. Wait, maybe this... Wait, maybe we're gonna see orbs in this new... In this room. Wait a minute. What if it was there the whole time? Okay, so no... Wait, let's check for orbs. This is here. Please just stay in this room. Please, 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 please stay in the room. Here we go. After all these years. Uh, it's throwing stuff in here. EMF 5 maybe? I'm not seeing Orbeez. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, gamers. This, this brings Ghostbusters to a whole <laughs> new meaning. <laughs> the Ghostbuster. Oh. This 
so stupid. Can you give me a sign, please? Okay, so... It's not a yokai, right? We tested that. Wraith? Not a poltergeist either, right? Spirit, mirror, on Rio. Stepping on the thing. Oh! Why did it do a double step there? Did you hear that? Definitely not a poltergeist. I mean, it's throwing quite a bit, actually. Looks like this cup is still on the table. That's just so unlikely. Ah! Mayor, maybe? We'll have to check for... Uh, that took really long. It's definitely... Maybe... I don't think it is a mayor, because that took really, really long. We had 75% sanity, remember? And it just now hunted. It took extremely long. It's not the time. It does definitely get faster. So let's do Wraith test. And then it's like an on Rio, maybe? Wait, no, but on Rio would be... Orbs. Or freezing, which maybe it's freezing. Like the remaining pill. Another mare, it turned off the lights. Mares can turn off lights, they just can't turn them on. Yeah, we I mean we gotta keep the mimic prediction because there's no point in redoing it, because like we redoing the prediction now is just Like I just wish we got some contradictory evidence. This is why we why I think that like doing a no evidence would kind of be tricky because it's really hard to sometimes rule out a ghost forever like knowing a hundred percent sure like what I see can happen like obviously here it seems very unlikely but what can happen in a no evidence game is that you like think you don't know it's not a ghost and you rule it out but then it ends up being that ghost anyway did it just walk over this wait a minute Wait, it's just a wraith after all we've been through? Oh, it's just a fucking wraith. Oh, okay. It turned on the light, it's not a mare. It just walked past here. It just teleported to- What the fuck is happening with this ghost? Oh, okay. It's- it's fucking right. It's walking back and forth over the salt, not stepping in it. Okay, well there you go. Unless it's a wraith mimic, in which case... Fucking the orbs, hello? It's just gonna be dots, of course. Fucking dots. That's like... I don't know if this is a thing with just me, but I have been... Ever s since the ascension update, I've been struggling with orbs. <laughs> or with dots, sorry. This is really hard to get. There you go, it was a Welcome back. All right, I'm Welcome sorry to the believers, but at least there weren't that many believers. Okay, we're gonna respin now, proper respin. That was a bit of a weird round, but here we go. Um, let's see what we're gonna get. We will get ourselves another Mimic. Are you kidding me? Mimic again? <laughs> Do you believe this time? Yes or no? <laughs> All righty, here we go. Oh no, this was the first poll. We got 14,000. That's all you got from that. 14 million points total, though. All right, let's hop into a match. We're going to go in on... Uh, Edgefield. Edge, or, yeah, Edgefield is fine. Oh, boy. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. We've arrived. We got 8%, so slightly more this time. We got 300k people. We got all inners all over the shop for doubters, of course. More this time. We got, instead of 13 million, we got 15 million. 1.5, though. That's, oh, that's a more than double for the believers. Look at that. Believers are in town, baby. They definitely did not double for the doubters, but the believers have doubled. All right, let's see. So we're looking for orbs. Bradley. Uh, but first we need to find the ghost. Oh no, it's a new fog weather. Have you seen a new fog yet? It's actually fucked up. It's so... It's like real fog now. You can't see through it at all. Music box. God damn it. Are you kidding me? You know what? No, I can't. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. Okay, well that changes everything. It's gonna be in the hallway or is it another fucking wraith teleported to me? That would be a disaster. 
This does not bounce like a normal. It bounces in a weird way. But I haven't looked at a DVD screensaver in a while, so maybe. All right, let's see if it's even here. Where are you? Are you here? Close you to busting. <laughs> He's close to busting, guys. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> are you kidding me? What are the chances? <laughs> what the fuck? So stupid. <laughs> what are these ghosts, dude? <laughs> <laughs> They're all naughty. <laughs> it's gonna be a wraith again. No. All right. Well, at least we got spirit box. That's good for for uh, the believers. Grab. Need anything? Motion sensor. We'll grab that so we know where it is, and then we'll grab the salt right away. Here we go. Okay, boom, boom, boom. If we see fingerprints here, that would be incredible. Oh, it's wrong. Okay, it's, it's not fingerprints this time. Okay. So no Obake, but it couldn't be an Obake anyway. Okay, is it going to be cold here? Huh? Very cold. <clears throat> time for orb check, guys. I mean, I didn't turn on the breaker, so I don't know where the ghost room is. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! No, 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 no. Hello? Where are you at? I need to turn on the breaker so we can... Ooh, there's a door. So we can check if there are... Well, first we should check if this is EMF. Not EMF 5. Can you please write in this damn book? It's hiding orb, surely. This is the copium. Ed Katat, thank you for converting your sub. Alright, come on. Not a wraith, at least. Yeah, that's nice. Not a wraith. It's gonna be a phantom this time. Um, okay, let's see. Where is the ghost? It's five degrees in here. That's pretty damn cold. Warmer there. It can't hide orbs, so, like, it could be in a different room than you expect or something like I don't know I'm just trying to find reasons for us to still be believing right now where are you are you here are you close are you friendly where are you are you here are you close are you friendly where are you are you, away. Are you close from behind us are you close are you close? Are you here? Right here. Can you I wanted to say the thing again. Are you here? Right here. Where are you? That's just so fucking funny, man. I'm sorry to whoever made that audio file. Like, there's gotta be one content creator that, like, CJ cut that so uh, unfortunately. Because it's just some, like, he's just saying something normal, but because of the way it's cut off, it sounds like he's saying something fucked up. <laughs> okay. Uh, repel the ghost. We're gonna be in danger soon here. And we're gonna make that happen. And then, with this a ghost event, we can do that with the... Wait a minute. We can do that with the music box here. What does it say close to busting? I don't think it actually says that, but yeah, it sounds like that. Okay. It's time for music box. Let's see? It's right fucking there. Walking away? Here it comes! Not a phantom. Hello? It's twins? That was super twinny. Sounded very much like twins.
Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. It's so twins. Uh... I need to repel, I remembered. Let me out. Let me out! Okay, it's done. Okay, well, I'm assuming this is twins. Voice for the box uses two different voices. Yeah, it does. It's the voices on the spirit box are just uh, radio frequencies. They're not the ghost anymore. Finally, proof of a ghost. Oh, look at that. Proof of a ghost, all objective. Don't mind if I do. Um, there you go. It was the twins. We got the tier three smudge stick. We're getting there. We need to do some. Maybe we need to do some kind of challenge. I don't know. Fifteen k. Holy. All right. Let's use those. All right, I'm sorry to the believers once again. Mimic is doing you dirty right now. No, Mimic, that was a 23,000 payout. Way better that time. 20 million total. All righty, we're gonna... Hope this time we don't get Mimic three times in a row. Are you kidding me? Come on, do something else. No Mimic, please. Older guys, on Rio. On Rio. Will it be on Rio, yes or no? Will it be scared of fire? Uh... It, ability, it did do two ability. I thought I heard a twin interaction there. Let's go to On Rio and Ridgeview. I, I, I we had that before, right? On Rio, I believe. You're a believer. Okay. Oh baby, it's back to normal. It's back to it's back to one in twenty. We have thirteen million versus seven hundred K. You choose to be a believer. You can be a believer with any amount. You don't have to go all in, obviously. 15 million is getting closer and closer to 20. 20 is when I know people are really feeling it. Holy shit, look at those all-ins, though. You can see the all-ins count up. <laughs> Dude, you guys are insane. <laughs> well, if this is on Rio, the, the believers are going to be absolutely feasting upon this giant... Giant 18 million over here. 1.8... We got one all in duel. No, he's back. Are you kidding me? They can't keep getting away with it. Fuck me. You're gonna run out of money. And the don't scream game. I mean, the problem with the don't scream game is that not screaming at a game is extremely easy. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> That's the it, it's the concept is flawed, but the it's it's a cool like idea, and it work. They're marketing. They must be making their money back for sure because they're marketing. Uh, like it it sold itself basically. Where was it? It was in one of the bathrooms, right? Yeah, it's here. I mean, I thought some of the 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 baby behind you jump scare got me pretty freaking good. It's like a don't it's like a don't laugh challenge. You you know it, it's exactly like that. That that was I wish I would have included that in the video because it's a perfect comparison. It's like a don't laugh challenge where someone actually tries not to laugh. If you've ever watched a don't laugh challenge where someone is actually trying not to laugh, it's the most boring shit of all time. Because it's really not that easy not to laugh. I mean, it's actually way harder not to laugh than it is not to be scared. Like, not being scared is, is way, way easier than not laughing. But it's always so annoying when someone, like, genuinely tries. You're not supposed to genuinely try. It's not called the not the try not to laugh challenge because you're actually trying not to laugh. It's because it's just funny videos. <laughs> like, that's it. So it's similar. I laugh anyway. Yeah, I laugh like crazy when I watch... Uh, oh, we don't see orbs here. That's bad, because I think that's one of the evidences. This is That's the point. Where are you? Are you here? Close to busting. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Stop turning that on! Where are you? Oh, come on. Just fucking give us a... Li oh, one degree. Uh, fuck. <laughs> on Rio, right? No! 
Unreal. But we do have Obake thingies. Well, let's see if we got Orbeez for Mimic and then we rule out Mimic here. Okay, we don't see Orbeez for Mimic. No fucking Mimic. Get the shit out of here. What else can we rule out? We can't really rule out anything, right? Or what did we get? We got no spirit box, no orbs. That's nothing. Uh, do we have no freezing temps? That's a real question. <clears throat> um, dude, it's so close. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you French? Are you pizza? Are you grandma? I'm gonna pick this up. I don't care. It's definitely not freezing. So it's not freezing in ghost orbs either. It's no haunt to. It's not freezing in spirit box. So these are the ghosts that are possible. It definitely is not gonna be freezing. I didn't even turn on the breaker. Okay, let's get the hell out of here and spin with these ghosts. Um. So I'm sorry to the believers, but it is obviously not an Unreal because we had counter evidence. At least that's hard evidence. Now we're going to be re-spinning with these fellas. We have Banshee, Banshee, Phantom, Jin is possible, Poltergeist, Demon. All of these are possible because they all have one annoying evidence. Obake. Alrighty, here we go. In again. What will it be? Banshee Phantom, Banshee Phantom, Banshee. Will it be a Banshee? Let me quickly check the, the payout on that. That must have been a pretty luck, lackluster payout. 24 mil or 24,000 payout. That is indeed pretty, pretty ass buckets. Ripperoni. You shall believe today. No, no, no. I saw it. I saw the 24,000. I mean, you can calculate it every time. Uh, Ghost of Ants. Stick this in there because it's probably going to be one of these. Like, now, what is a... Um, looking for Banshee, right? Banshee would be... Uh, Ghost Orbs or Dots. So we would be looking for Dots then. Dots. I mean, all... It's basically going to be Dots or Writing for sure. So what do you think it'll be? Will it be dots or will it be writing? Dots and orbs. Well, we didn't see orbs. We'll see. Gamble imaginary points in YouTube chat. Yeah, that's a shame. You voted yes, but you always do. You can even vote yes with no points. Just join the believer gang with no stakes. All right, give me a sign. Write in the book immediately. Probably throw on the breaker for Jin so he can turn it off. We can see. You have to believe. You forgot what you voted for. It, the number before your name is what you voted for. Wait, did we? No, oh, I didn't. Won or lost? Nothing. Okay. This one apparently gave a lot of people trouble finding this one. The toe of the frog. And the ghost throw this around. It's a little guy, dude. Look at the little dude. It's adorable. I need to do like... I need to play a ton on Maple Lodge. Uh, no writing yet. And you give us a sign. Wait, what if it ends up being freezing? No, I said that would have been fucked up. It orbs after all emf5 would also be possible and you give us a sign Did you do anything at all ghost pushing a door like for fingies obake fingies no come on has it done a single event nope it is very quiet do we check for gorio oh god don't be Corio. Yeah. Alright, if you're gonna be a Gorio, at least do dots fast. Just to make it not as painful. I feel like it's gonna be dots, just because we haven't had any- Oh, god. Oh, it's fast. It's- It's a gin? 
Can I survive this somehow? Oh, it's not a gym. Wait, it's not a gym. What is that? That is the second time that's happened. Remember last time when that happened? So it's not a gin. What the fuck? Is that Poltergeist? It was throwing a fuck down there. You see that? Okay, let's set up the... Let's do a polter check here. Is it going to be tornado time? No miling. I mean, we're ruling out quite a few ghosts. I don't know if it's gonna be a poltergeist. Could be. It didn't throw everything, but it was also there for like two seconds. I should grab some smudges. Yeah, I don't know what the what the speed bug is over there. Like it seems like it always happens when the ghost goes down that hallway. I don't know if it has something to do with that hallway. Uh, we have the tier three lights now. Or tier three. Oh, it's still fucked. <laughs> What the hell? They're just gonna leave it this way? This is so stupid. It looks so ugly. <laughs> is it because it don't look, doesn't look very bad when you do 60 FOV? Is that why? Ah! It's fucking 60 FOV again. It, it still looks bad, but not as bad. It's the fucking 60 FOV curse once again. Check 70. This shit looks so bad still, though. <laughs> Why? Alright, well, whatever. Okay, so we're trying for, uh... The Crawly Ghost? I'm gonna leave that there, set up some more stuff. Turn on the lights. Alright, if it can somehow, like, somewhat clear this table, it is clearly a poltergeist. No collision? Yeah, I mean, I guess the, maybe it was just they fixed the collision, but like for a lot of other items. Still busted. All right, ghost, come on. Uh, did it just do the Obaka shit? Oh, God. Not a poltergeist. Uh, not a phantom, not a poltergeist. This is going closer and closer. Not a Obake, probably. I mean, Banshee is looking mighty tempting here. Probably a Goryeo, though. <laughs> but it's getting closer to being possible, at least. So we need to get extra dots and set up a cam. No oh, stinky Goryeo. We do a parabike test. Let's set up a uh, crucifix for you, extra this. Let's set up just up two crucifixes. In no way. Always oh, Gorio or Mimic. Well, last two games weren't. Can I please do this before you hunt? Don't do it. It's a ghost event. Singing ghost event? I'm gonna place that there. This should still clear the room easily if it's a demon. No writing still. Demon 4. Wait a minute. Come on, give me a sign. Don't stop believing. Do we actually see regular dots here? It is such a banshee. Did you, why did the sounds of the dots get so fucked up? You hear this? Like sometimes they get like... It sounds like a fucking airplane taking off. Come on, dude. Oh. Well, it's not a fucking demon, that's for sure. What is going on, dude? It's actually a demon. It's actually a Gorya or a Banshee, and we're just not getting any dots. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait, was it a grandma? Oh, it was just a standing up. Do we 50-50? Oh, do we 50-50 it for 
banshee here. Just guess. It's probably gonna be Gorio. The Paramite test doesn't do much. This is like, it's only rare. Send it. We believe in Banshee. Believe in Banshee, but it's gonna be Gorio. Let's, uh, sure, we'll, we'll take these. We'll grab this and then we'll set up a better camera here. Maybe we're like not, because like previously you could stand outside the room like that and you would get Gorio dots, but maybe that's no longer a thing. This has been really hard for me to get Gorio dots. Okay. Um, can I like, oh man, you can't look at that at the same time. That would be sick. Like what if I stand over here? Like, how is it not doing any dots at all? Like, it doesn't feel like it's working. Pushing doors. Alright, sure. Do you talk to me? The model change? Well, the model changes because it's like the crawly model, right? It, it can be crawling, it can be standing up, or it could be... Um... Broken back. Talk to me. Like I said, I have to have the dots out there. But we hear it on the damn bear mic. Give me a sign. You see how rare these screams are? Watching the worst. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> Let's go, dude! We just actually fucking banshee, dude! <laughs> Wait, I never expected that. After all that? Are you kidding me? Let's go! <laughs> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, show me the money. It has to be, right? It can't be a phantom, no? It can't be Gorio. I don't think it was phantom. It didn't look like phantom at all. Come on. Believers win. The believers win. Let's Welcome fucking back. go, dude. Welcome Believer Welcome victory. Back. Show me the money. Show me the money, Lebowski. Show me that 1.7. Holy poisoner. With that 1.7 million payout. Juicy points. And even a 68 bet becomes a half a million. Even a 20,000 becomes four or 140,000. I mean, these are some insane numbers. I mean, that was not even the craziest odds. That was just a 15 to 85. That was awesome. Alrighty. Well, uh, good, good win for the believers right there. Not an insta win, but still a win all the same. Let's spin it again. Let's see if this changes anything to the believer dynamic. The believer doubter balance. Is it going to be a gin or not? That is the question now. Let's see it. Did it do its ability at any point? Probably 80, or 80 million times. It did it 28 times my ass. That's a lie, dude. All right, we're going to do Jin on Willow. I'm telling you. It's never a Jin. It will be a Jin. It has to be. Uh, Raymond Rhodes. It is a bit of a shame that it's like such a visually... Like, there's visually something missing this Halloween update. Like, it's only Maple Lodge that looks spooky in the lobby, but everything else is just so basic. Like, there's no, like, pumpkin ghost or something. Um, just, like, something missing. All right, let's see. What is the poll? Uh, we have one 150, not even all in. All ins all over the place. 15 million. We got an all in. Done. Dan with the all in. Let's go. And, uh, I mean, I don't... I would... It would be cool if you could see how many people bet all in. Like, there must be, like, genuinely 100... Wait, could there be 100 people that go all in? No, because then it would be 25 million. So that's not true. But it has to be, like, 40 to 50 for sure. 18 million um, total. And we're going to find out... Or to 18 million for the doubters total, which is basically the whole total because the believers barely put in any points, which makes a lot of sense. I have a funny feeling the non-believers are going to win. Well, I'm going to pull this card right here and die. 
All right. Are you fucking... Is it slow? Is this a twin? No must be. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Are you fucking your yokai, dude? Hey, you bitch head. Oh, here it comes. Is that slow? It sounds so. Boom, 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 boom. Maybe it's not slow. Uh, I don't know much. We didn't do a gin test there. That was fucking weird, dude. I started in this room. It just gets stuck. I don't know what's going on with the pathing of the ghosts when it's in this room, but if you. It just gets stuck in this room. If the ghost starts its hunt in this room, it'll never leave for some reason. Uh. Can you give us a sign? On the thing. Doesn't mean anything. We only got a death card, right? So it doesn't really... Like, we didn't lose any sanity. Okay, thing is stuck. Let's just grab some evidence items. Okay. Yoki pokey. <laughs> yokai pokey. I don't think it's a yokai because it walked to us immediately. Computer does not count as a light. No. No more. So we want to see uh, EMF, UV, and freezing. Nothing else. Hey, hey, safe. What's up? Happy birthday. UV, thank you for the prime. We get fingies from the computer. Very good call. Uh, excuse me. No, Fingo, that's not good. Gonna be EMF 5 over here. EMF 2. Come on. Come on, ghosty pants. Uh, touch the thing again. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. oh frick. Not a noni. Regular stuff. I'm not seeing Orbeez, which is good, right? We don't want to see Orbeez. Cold temps. Are you going to be freezing? It's slowly getting lower. All right, let's grab. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Where are you? Are you here? No! No! Alrighty, unlucky. I'm gonna say it's not Mimic because we cannot see. There's no or or Orbeez, right? Fuck, fucking garbage, man. We never get lucky on the first spin, man. Okay, so no. Is that all we can rule out? That's basically all we can rule out, right? Everything else is just fine. Okay, well, at least we're gonna get the respin. I'm sorry to the, to the believers again. It's been three days. Why did you go all in, you insane old man? I mean, you can just make, you can just get more points. Don't go all in with your points. Unless you're insane. Unless you got a billion. Okay, we're gonna spin again with this. Let's see what the payout was there. Payout was a measly 24K on an all in bet. 20 million points total. What the hell? All right, let's, um, let's see, I'm gonna, Put on. There's a lot of options. Spirit. Uh, Wraith. We didn't do anything. So we didn't do any tests. So it could still be a Wraith. Could be a Phantom. Could be Poltergeist. Could be Mare. Yokai. Yokai is. I'm gonna rule out Yokai because it's not that. It's not a Yokai. Um, because we did the Yokai test already. Right? It just walked to us immediately. Well, like when we got close, it walked to us. Which it would have never done if it was a... Uh, I think so. And then it found a second or after that as well. More... Oh, well, it's not a... It's not a Dio. Is it just a... Is it not a Moroi either? 
Is it a Moroi? Was that why it was slow? I don't know. Moroi or twins. I don't even know if it was slow. I'm just gonna throw it on there. Because I didn't I don't know. It could be more or it could be twins because they were like the speed was slightly weird okay so there's only actually eight entries let me change, fix it up here so you see so it's not this one it's not this one these are the options wait did we see phantom though was it a phantom we saw it for like one fucking second and then it disappeared right so i don't know if we can we can't really rule that out here we go it's gonna be a spicy spin it's up to you like i literally think we saw it for a brief moment and then it disappeared mayor will it be a mayor yes or no that's luckily we didn't get one of the spicy options so this way it's very possible what was this one light in the dark i love that you actually have to give up your flashlight hey flywing what's up to uh finish the potion we're gonna grab all of these and we're gonna see what's going on i'm gonna I mean, I guess we'll be showing this. All ins all around. Pedro, you're just trying to trying to multiply your money. I mean, I guess people lost money last time. It's funny that it's still like if you always doubt, you still pro you still win overall. Um because like even if you lose that one in twenty times, the previous times that you won as a doubter will pay for that one loss. <laughs> but still. We have a 1 in 10 big booty llama. Has 100k. Holy shit, let's go. Let's let's find out. Yeah, the pay... So you... It's because the, the odds are always stacked towards the doubters. Like, or, like, the doubters are always an advantage. Because believers are more common. What the fuck is that doing out here? Big booty llama. Place that bat boy. We got two. Can you give us a sign? Oh! Wait. That's bad. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, that's very bad. <laughs> well, so much for that one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Rip. It's not a mare. <laughs> well, now it's gonna be... Unreal twins or Moroi? What do you think it will be? You get to just full on decide this because uh, it's only three options left. Let me quickly see what the payout was on that. 32, 34K, 35K basically. That was pretty sick. All right, so you get to decide. Uh, wasn't it slightly slower than normal? It sounded a little weird, but I'm not entirely, you never know for sure. It's up to you. It's up to you. How well do you trust your memory that you do? <laughs> I, I want to see this. I want to see the battle here. Battle between these ghosts. I'm not going to say what I think because that will be cheating. Twins. I see big twins. I see some on Rio. I see. I mean, these. Oh, my God. We got an all in. Do we have an all in everywhere? No all in here. People that do, don't do not believe on Rio. 60% here, though. Holy shit. Most people say twins. Moroi. Two all-ins on Moroi. No two all-ins on, uh, on twins, but still way more points. Interesting. Philippe, thank you for the five. Alrighty. Well, I mean, it seems like most people think this is the twins. We only got a single hunt, uh, and we'll see how it's going to turn out. We had tarot cards, right? So we're going to just pull more cards. Okay, 13 to 60 to 30, basically. That's the final tally. Alrighty, time to pull the pull the tarot cards. Let's put this on so we can see in the dark. Don't be moron. Couldn't vote. Sorry. All right. Doing a little shower. The twin. I have my cards over here, right? Uh, I just dropped it down here. Yes, there we go. Alrighty, let's see. Oh! <laughs> let's go! Kill me! Give me a hanged man. Here we go, baby. We can live forever. Please give me red cards. Please don't make me wait for this. No! 
Oh. Oh. No, you fucking dickhead, you dicko. All right, well, we're gonna have to. We can't figure out the fucking ghost without a hunt. Can you do ghost events? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. If it's a Moroi, we could get fucking curse, right? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Oh, it's gone. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are- heard of Are you fucking telling- Oh, yes, ghost of it. <laughs> Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Are you fucking telling me that the- did walk into you? Nice. Week. Are you telling me that the the computer prevents you from using the spirit box, but it doesn't count as a light source for the mare? You fucking little penis? Where are you? Are you here? That's so stupid. <laughs> Where are you? That is so annoying. Where are you? Are you here? Take are you? Away. That is so dumb. That is the dumbest thing of all time. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? So they literally fixed the f Oh my god, we're getting so lucky with this, with the ghost event. They fixed the fun part of the- Of the fact that it counted as a light switch, which was that the mayor couldn't turn it on. But they didn't bother to fix the actual important part, which is that it prevents you from using spirit box. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> That's so dumb. Where are you? Are Behind. You that was me. Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? Where are you? Are you here? Where are you? Are you here? Close to bus. It's close to bus. <laughs> Fucking garbage. It's so stupid. Where are you? Are you here? Are you here? A closing. Where are you? Where are you? From behind. Where are you? Oh, here we go. Time to die. Oh, wait. I think it actually might be an Unreal. That didn't sound special at all. I mean, to be fair, it could still be Moro here. Okay, this was probably not my greatest move. I should have probably just tried to figure it out that hunt instead of kill myself. <laughs> but at least we can't be hunted now. We'll see. Oh my god, this would this would be the underdog victory for sure. Come on, ghost. I'm about to be rich with my Onryo bet. We beat that signal, we beat it twice. Come on, ghost. Come on, buddy. Can I get my sanity? My sanity should be draining quite constantly if this is a moron. Oh. Wait, it might just be. It's twins. Twins? Wait, what? It just got way faster randomly. Is it, what the fuck is going on? What? Ah. <laughs> nice throw, dude. Ah! Standing still there. Look at the range of this thing. Hey, maybe is it the sanity loss from the Moroi? It's, I, it's actually genuinely, <laughs> genuinely still possible to be both. Like the Moroi curse drained our sanity so much. You know what? We're gonna eat the sanity pills and put it to the ultimate test. Get ready to be disappointed. Ready to be very disappointed. 
I don't think it's on Rio though. I think people were definitely accurate with that one. Gonna be fat. If it's slow now, then there's no chance. Oh, hi. He's doing creepy music. You hear that? Alright, come on, buddy. Do the thing. Dun, 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 dun. I smudged it though, so it will take a little bit, but it should already be almost over. Definitely got very fast there, which was kind of strange. I mean, maybe that was just normal twin speed, but oh, hi again. There's so many fucking ghost events. Oh, come on. It's actually totally a more I did. Right? Maybe? Yes! It's getting slower. <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> that was unexpected. That was, uh, that was a tricky one. Well done, gamers. What can I say? You trusted your gut and you went with it. Oh, you're so fucking slow, you little bitch. I want to see the payout here. This is going to be a big one, huh? For me the hell out of here. <laughs> Easy clap. We did it, gamers, indeed. That was, I mean... There's no believers when it comes down to the last three ghosts, but still, that was a that was an upset victory for sure. People did not expect it to be a moron. It's a crime. There you go. It was indeed a moron. All right, I need to see these payouts. As this was like, uh, it's gonna be a, a triple payout. Seven and a half thousand. No, almost a million, dude. Wow. Almost a million points for everyone voting on Moroi. I mean, that was like uh, pretty dang tricky. If you if you really paid close attention during that hunt, you probably could have figured it out. But I definitely would have been wouldn't have been very confident. So, yeah, well done. I'm proud of you guys. I think that is also where we're going to uh, call it for the ghost gambling because I don't think we're going to be making a better uh, upset than that in the next couple games. Uh, so thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, played a ton of different games today. I wanted to play the other game as well. The um, uh, There was one more indie game I wanted to play, but it was slightly too long, so we didn't get to it. But we'll get to it another time. Anyway, if you're watching over on YouTube, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for uh, joining us. It's still new to do the YouTube streaming. Um, and I don't know if it'll stay. Maybe YouTube streaming won't stick around forever. Maybe it'll just be a fad for a month and then we'll stop. Uh, but at least for now, it's fun to do. Uh, we're gonna go see first of all for the youtube here we go this video you haven't seen this one if you've been watching the youtube live streams diligently this is a video you have not seen yet because it is actually fairly old um but it was such a good game that i have to make sure to upload it still i'm going to where's my live stream there's my live stream here i'll post it in chat if you want to check it out this is your guys's raid go watch the video i literally just uploaded you could be first you could be the first one to post a comment I'll also send it to Twitch. Twitch and YouTube come together on the video. Uh, go join each other. Anyway, thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. Bye-bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye. All right, well, that's it for YouTube. Now, we're going to go find some on the raid. And let's see. Everyone's playing Alan Wake. Um, is Psycho getting scared by don't, by don't scream? I'm watching. He's not getting scared. He's just fucking whispering like that. It's so, it's so stupid, man. What a stupid concept. I'm gonna, let's see. Let's just say hi to small stream. I don't want to rate someone playing that game because it was one of the most awkward horror games I've played in a really long time. And I don't want to rate a small streamer and then like have them play a very uncomfortable game for a large audience suddenly that is that is a bad idea uh let's see I'm trying to find a one viewer streamer with a is this person dying 
on the thumbnail they're like bright red and it look like they're coughing <laughs> fucking jesus my life wolf oh i'm getting i i that wasn't supposed to play we're gonna go say hi over here i'm assuming we haven't raided them yet fucking jesus <laughs> nice intro Alrighty, we'll say hi over here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye bye, everyone. See you around. Bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> see you, see you. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go.